DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL playoffs, is bringing you an offer that will help make the playoffs electrifying. New customers can bet 5 bucks on any game and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and see code SHANNON. New customers can bet just 5 bucks and get 200 instantly in bonus bets. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with the code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Nightcap AFC NFC style championship style football. Please make sure you like, please make sure you subscribe, hit that subscribe button. <clears throat> We're now officially 921,000 subscribers and we want to thank each and every one of you. Please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can get the Nightcap podcast feed through Club Shay Shay. But Nightcap, we big time, Ocho. We got our own podcast feed through Nightcap. So thank you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification because over the next several months, we're going to be going at different times, and we want mm. to make sure you do not miss an episode. We've also pinned Shea by Laportier at the top of the chat. Go ahead and get yourself, now that we know the Super Bowl participants, go ahead and get yourself a bottle for you or that someone special. Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so is St. Patrick's Day. And like I said, all of those will beat the, uh, uh, the Super Bowl party. Your Super Bowl party will come before all those festivities. So please make sure you go out and get yourself a bottle. <coughs> Ocho, those games, this game tonight, woo, both games were exciting. But the 49ers, the 49ers beat the Lions and to advance to the eighth Super Bowl, 34-31, the 49ers erased a 17-point deficit and scored 27 unanswered points in the second half. The 49ers, this will be a rematch of Super Bowl uh, in Miami, uh, Super Bowl 2020 rematch. Um, the 49ers faced the Chiefs. The 49ers are still looking for their first Lombardi. Damn. Basically, uh, they same the same boat with the, uh, the Cowboys. But... Ocho, what did you take away from this game? The 49ers come back and win this game, as I said, 34-31. <clears throat> Listen, you play you play video games, no. Unc? You ever, so you never played Madden, right? Mm -mm. So I'm thinking in a, in a game of Madden, if you're down by 17, if you're down by 17 in a game of Madden, you might as well pass the sticks. Okay. You might as well pass the sticks. So the fact that, the 49ers played the worst half of football that they could play in their life. And I think half the world will mm -hmm. probably agree, okay, this game is over. I saw a lot of tweets saying this game is over. There's no need to watch anymore. At this point, there's no way a team is able to come back from a 17-point deficit. With the, I don't know what the hell Kyle Shanahan told them boys at halftime. I don't know what they ate. I don't know what they drank. But to see the Lions come out and dominate the way they did at the beginning of the game mm -hmm. in the first half, I thought the game was obviously Why? over. But the second half, it, yeah. you said why? After you saw Brady come back 28-3, to three, why would you think the game was over? Bra wait, after Brady you saw was who? down 28-3. You said the greatest quarterback of all time? Wait, wait, wait. After you saw the greatest quarterback of all Didn't time you see, Hold on. Didn't you see Minnesota come back from 33 see, I, points down last year? They were down 33. Right. We've seen teams come mm -hmm. back for more than 17. Right. So you playing the game but, of but football, listen, this, this, why would you think the game was uh, over for the second half to go? Because the magnitude. The magnitude of the game, the importance of the game. That you talk about a regular season game. 
we talk about the NFC championship. So you, you, I'm thinking you make all the smart, all the smart decisions, all the right decisions. You didn't, you didn't turn the, you didn't turn all the ball over yet, you know. And I'm thinking like, you yeah, yeah, you, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, okay. yet, yet. And I'm like, oh man, this is over. Well, what did I do? I kept watching. I kept watching because I, I got it. I got to do the show tonight. I got to be able to talk about it and see what happens. Lo and behold, 49ers get the ball, go all the way down, kick a field goal, goddamn turnover. At the wrong goddamn time. Come on, man. Then they get the ball back. And then off the turnover, they get points. Um, we got a ball yes. game, baby. I mean, I done sat up. I done sat up. I done sat up in my chair. <coughs> I'm in here screaming. Real mad. She pissed off. I done woke her up. I done sleep. I said, girl, you got to get up. You got to watch this, honey. You got to get up and you got to watch this. Um, that was like being at a movie. That was like being at a movie and it's it's right in the middle and it's starting to get good. Like you're watching The Sopranos or something. Dog, it got good. I'm tr- the four the four downs. What are we doing? Why are we not taking the points? Unc, um, please explain to me. I'm not a coach, but even if I'm in the position of a coach, I'm taking the points. Four down. Why are we going for it? What are we doing? In a situation, Ocho, you have to understand like this. I uh, in the playoffs, you pay double for turnovers. The question is, and I tweeted this earlier today, in a game of the playoffs as, and as the game go, the momentum doesn't swing nearly as much. How much separation can you put between you and the team when you have the momentum? Because it's going to swing back. And when it, sw- and when it swings back, how much distance have you placed between you and the team that now all of a sudden have the distance? That needed to be a 27-7 to or a 30-7 to ball game to give seven. themselves some okay. cushion. Now, right. <clears throat> you tur- uh, they get a field goal. Now you fumble the ball. Yes. Now it's uh, what was a 17-point game all of a sudden yeah. is a seven-point game, and we're only eight yeah. minutes until the third quarter. So now we got a whole – we yeah. still got half a quarter and an entire fourth quarter left. Now all of a sudden mm-hmm. – and you're on the road. You had the crowd yeah. out of it. Now mm-hmm. all of a sudden you've allowed them to come back in it. Now what's going on right in your player's in. mind? Damn, we let mm-hmm. this one slip away because they were dominating. Mm-hmm. They were running the ball. Montgomery did a great job of running. Gibbs was running yeah. the ball. <coughs> J-Mo. Listen, yeah, that no, that first half on one series, this is, let me tell you another reason why I thought the game was over. Huh? There was one series. I'm not sure exactly what series it was in the first half. The goddamn Lions had third and 12. Huh? Do you know? Third and fourteen. They motion to the right. And all my St. Brown yeah, colors. That's, that's, that's third and fourth. No, that no, that's the I'm talking about the one with Jameer oh, yeah. Gibbs. It oh, yeah, he ran it. On the yeah. same drive yeah. earlier. Man, they ran the ball on third and twelve, and he yep. got the first. Um, I swear to God, if it wasn't goddamn two or three plays later, it was third and goddamn was it eighteen or fifteen? 14, something like Armand that. And St. Brown across the middle. Man, and on the goddamn mm-hmm. dig right, I say you got to be kidding me. This is their day. You know what? You know it's about it's, it's gonna be it's. You might as well close the curtains, boy. I think this one is mm-hmm. over. It's just the momentum of the game, the way it was going. I thought it was over to the point I even tweeted it out. I even tweeted it out. At what point will the pendulum shift in favor of the 49ers? Because right now, all the momentum is on the 49ers, on the 49ers side. It's on the Lions the side. Half. Yeah, on, on, on the Lions side. I had no idea it would shift this much to that magnitude. The turnovers killed them. If they don't turn the ball over and they get points, I don't think. Well, they here's win. the thing: even if they don't turn it over, you take time off the clock. But those right. drop passes, Reynolds had a fourth down. Now uh, you stay on the field and you pop. He had two. Reynolds, Reynolds had two. Yeah, four, one on third down, one on fourth down. Now the one on fourth down wasn't a difficult. It was a difficult catch because he's going one way. Yeah, but, and but, but come I don't understand your body. why guys yeah. catch it. Catch it. You coming back? Catch it like this? Why are you trying to catch yeah. it like that? Yeah. Because if, right. if it hit here, Ocho, it's going to pop up just like it did. Mm-hmm. It hit his right. wrist. It did Catch probably, it yeah. like this. Yeah. I mean, if, if you was running back, yeah. let's just say, Ocho, and the ball was perfect, and the ball was out here like mm-hmm. that, you wouldn't try to yeah. catch it like this or like this. You would mm-hmm. just to pluck it. Yeah. Well, pluck it. But you, you you know what's funny? That's when I think about you always talk about it. And I, I always talk about natural yes. pass catchers. People that are natural pass catchers yes. with their hands, sometimes they'll go like this. And if you're a natural pass catcher, you got soft yeah. hands where you can go like this. I think about a Chris Carter. I think about a Larry Fitzgerald. 
that are natural catchers of the ball that can catch it from either from yes. either angle, either way with their palm, right. palms up or palms down, regardless of where the ball is thrown. But I, I, I don't think he's a natural pass catcher. That's why he made it that much yeah, more difficult. He did. <coughs> Damn. Ocho, I said when I when I was evaluating Brock Purdy, I said, Ocho, I want to see him in a game where every throw matters, every possession matters. Every throw in this game mattered because Detroit got the ball and went right down the field and scored. And they went back down the field and scored again. So now you're in a situation, every throw matters. Every possession matters. Now he got some help. Remember on third down, he's running to his left and he throws back over the middle and Jennings one hands it on third down to keep it alive. And you see a, a, a Big one. AG Aaron Glenn, the DC from like, damn, we had him. And then he yeah, has an had interception. Yep. He throws the, the same drive as an interception. Mm -hmm. It hits the defender's helmet. IU catches it. it. Down at the four or five yard it's line, and they get a touchdown of that. Now we got a, a tie ball game, Ocho. And that's how close it's it funny, came. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes it's better yeah. to be lucky yeah. than good. Mm -hmm. And it's so funny. We always talk about it being a game yeah. of inches. And that is the game of inches. That catch on that four down. Jennings with the one hand, then obviously that's yes. the interception. You you do that drill, you do that drill all the time as a DB. You know, I I I don't I don't know if it's the lights. Uh, I don't know if because you play DB. Bro, if he if he could catch, he'd be a running back or wide receiver. That's what that, that's what DBs are. Most DBs, if you think about it, I and mean, we all yeah. wide receivers, most of us mm -hmm. play quarterback or played mm -hmm. other positions in high school. But normally right. DBs are running backs and wide receivers that couldn't catch. Mm -hmm. And so they right. move to that side of the ball. You're better at knocking it down. Right. Now, there are some guys that are just gifted. Dion had hands. Rod yeah. Woodson, Ed Hand, Reed, yeah. those guys have had mm -hmm. hands. But for the right. most part, DBs knock it down. They get up and do this where the really good yeah. DBs pick it. Yeah, but the, those, those, that's a very important play that, that changes. That well, even changes if he knocks it down, though, Joe, it's no, no harm, no foul. It's the mere fact that you pop no up in there and he yeah. got the ball at the five. Yeah. That right, was the problem. Right. It wasn't the problem that he missed it. If he just misses it, Ocho, mm. if he just misplays it mm -hmm. and the ball, like he moves it up in the light and the ball hits the dirt, no harm, no foul. Mm -hmm. It's the we, fact we the ball hit him in his head and popped up and now you mm -hmm. found it. That was the mm -hmm. problem. Yeah. That, that, I mean, that's why I said <laughs> it, it should have been an interception. It was an easy interception because he, he listen, his hands closed and the ball – he was nowhere near the ball. The ball went straight down. It hit him in his head. It hit him in his head. Man. Oh, Joe, did you actually Listen. think that guy was going to catch that ball? He's a D. Oh, exactly. He's a DB, you didn't oh. think you'd go catch and, it. And, 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 and he's a DB, but in a game of a, a game with that much importance and implications riding on it, going to a Super Bowl, that's a catch you got oh, to Joe, make. We saw the same make, play man. happen to the 49ers last, a uh, couple of years ago. Uh, I think it was Tarrant. I think that's how you say his name. Matthew Stafford hit him in his chest. He dropped it. They go down and get a touchdown. They win the game. You have to understand, if you said the guy is normally not good at catching the ball, what makes you think in that moment he's going to catch it? You just said the lights are bright. Think about what you just said. Repeat what you just said. No, repeat what you just said. Bright lights with a chance to go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, I, see I see you going with it. I see I I, I like where I like where you went with that one. That's, I like where you you went just with that told one. me you just oh. said hey, well lights are bright with a chance to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh he normally the guys don't catch well anyway. Way, yeah. Ah, it just I don't, I don't know. And he played it perfect yes, too. Yes. Long. Yes. Another GB didn't let the guy he's behind the he he was behind the receiver. He played it perfect. You can't yeah. play it any better than which he had it played. Mm -hmm. Because I, if it, in a situation right. like that, if you let him get behind you, I'm saying, why the hell would you oh. let him get behind you? Nothing oh. cheap. Yeah, nothing you're, cheap. In, you're in panic mode. You're in panic mode then. He didn't let him get behind him. He played it perfect. Yeah. The only He mm -hmm. should have treated it like a Hail Mary. In the Hail Mary situation, what did they yeah. tell you to do? Knock it down. Bat it down. Bat it down. If you, can, if you can't catch it, bat it down. Damn, man. That that was listen, that was a good game. That was a that, good game. That, that was, was one of game. the most exciting NFC championship games I've seen yeah. in a long in a mm -hmm. long time. When I thought it was gonna be a runaway. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be a runaway based on what I saw in the first half. Like, ain't no way in hell the 49ers would be able to come back from this. And then I saw somebody tweet, don't move too fast because we seen Brady do it. 
in the biggest game of yeah. all in the Super Bowl. And I was like, ain't no goddamn Tom yeah. Brady out there. And, but the, and the thing is, we saw Mahomes. Remember, the Houston Texans had Mahomes down 24 0. Uh, right. The greatest comeback, oh, yeah. Buffalo yeah. came back from uh, on Houston. They were down 32 to was down 32 to nothing. And they come back and end up winning Damn. the ball game in overtime. So stranger things can happen. The Lions failed mm-hmm. for it on two fourth downs, the second attempt of the half, including passing up a field goal attempt that would have tied the game at 27. That's the one I don't get. Tie the ball game up. Why would you? Because here's the thing. You see, some things that make us great also is our biggest flaw. Because Dan Campbell, right. we give him so much credit when he goes for it on first down and mm-hmm. they work out. On, excuse me, on fourth mm-hmm. down and they work out. In that right. situation, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I don't take the. I don't take the. Uh, I don't take the. Uh, the field goal. Yeah, the points. I take the field goal in that situation. But the right. But because the, if I take the, the field goal, it though, is, now it's a tie ball mm-hmm. game. Now if I come down game. and go back the other way and they scored, 49ers did they scored. So now it's a ten mm-hmm. point ball right. game instead of a seven mm-hmm. point ball game. Now all of a sudden, mm-hmm. the Lions go down and do what they do. Now we got a talk, mm-hmm. tie ball game. I'm gonna put the pressure. Okay, mm-hmm. Brad, uh, 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 Purdy, ball back in your court. Bro, what you gonna do? Bro, back in. Yeah, that, that's funny. But what, what we all are, what we all are, is we're a creature yes. habit. And, and a leopard or a zebra, he done change his stripes and he done change his spots based on circumstance or situation. So what we saw right. from Coach is what we've seen from him the entirety yeah. of the season. Yes, the government. And he coached the same way, and he made the same play calls that he would as if it was a regular season game because he always bet. And put house money on his players yeah. to come through on those yeah. four downs. Actually, actually, I think he just he just think he just think get him this time. Down, Buffalo was down thirty five was it thirty five three, and they end up winning forty one thirty five in overtime. I think they end up winning forty one thirty five. I think Buffalo was down thirty five three, um, and they ended up coming back thirty two points. That was the most um, uh, a team had come from behind and end up winning the ball game. And as a matter of fact, that wasn't Jim Kelly that orchestrated that. That was Frank Reich. They were down Frank oh, Reich. Okay. He also, at one time, he had the biggest college come from behind when he was at Maryland, and they came back from like 30-something mm. points down and beat the uh, beat the U. So, Not, yeah. The U? The, the U-U. 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 He, did, he beat the U-U. Back when they had, they had them dogs, yeah, he it, came from back. I think he was down 31 yeah. in that situation and came back and beat them yeah. in that ball game. But, uh... Mm-hmm. As you mentioned, <coughs> man, this call won't leave me, guys. The Lions failed on two fourth downs. They passed up a field goal uh, that would have tied the game. And Gibbs, the rookie, who played outstanding all season, he's been great in the postseason, but had two big yeah. t- had a touchdown run, had big, big run, fumble the ball. Yeah. And you know, when you turn the ball over, yeah. you pay double. They're going to make you pay double yeah. because now all of a sudden, he played, they sense, he played good. They right? sense blood in the water. They just got points, good. Ocho. They just got points. Yeah. They kick the ball mm-hmm. off to you. You spot the ball, and guess what? You run one play, and their offense is back on the field. So now you've allowed them the to field. get into a rhythm, and we're going to talk about this, something that mm-hmm. Kansas City never allowed Baltimore to do, which was getting to mm-hmm. a rhythm. Yeah. So Lamar mm-hmm. and that running game could set up the passing game. Mm-hmm. And so right, uh, right now uh, it was Ja'Kwisky Jaqu- 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 Tart. Tart was his last name. To drop that easy interception, Stafford hit it right between mm. his numbers. I think he's number seven too. He hit him right between the numbers and he dropped it. If he catches right. that ball, they're going to the Super Bowl, and it didn't happen. Right. Uh, we have a poll up. Most to blame for the Lions' loss. Twenty-two thousand votes said Dan Campbell. Jared gets seventy-four percent of the blame. Jared Goff get eight percent of the blame. Uh, Jameer Gibbs gets five percent of the blame. And Reynolds gets fourteen percent of the blame. Reynolds, those drops. Oh, them, them damn two, them two drops. Them, hey, them drops but is important. Um, golf was not them, as them hot. Drops was really they were, important. of course, of course, they get magnified because one was on fourth down, the other was on third down. So they're magnified yeah. for the simple point of what down they happen on. If he drops either mm-hmm. one of those passes on first to second down, ain't nobody bl- blinking an eye. He's saying nothing. One was yeah. on fourth He's down to keep the drive alive. The other was on third down to keep mm-hmm. the drive alive. Now all of a sudden, yeah. we could potentially you robbed us of getting points. That's mm-hmm. how fans are looking right. at it. You robbed us of an opportunity yeah. to go down the field and get points, field goal or either a touchdown. And so uh, Jared Goff was not nearly 
as accurate in the second half as he was mm-hmm. the first half because he was doing the numbers. First half, yeah. Hey, first half he, he was yeah. surgical. Yes. First half that young that young fellow was surgical. Now I think he was so he was surgical simply because the running game was yes. was operating yes. so well. Everything was working, so it made the pass game that much easier, and everybody was open because everything was working because of the play yes. action, the yes. run, the 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 not RPO, the goddamn that play pass. action. I, because dude, Ocho, it, when you're running the ball like that, we you hey that yeah. safety gonna start cheating you down. Start, he goes, yeah, he, he got no choice because you got to get that eighth to man because he can't stop him with seven. Right, uh, and and so give them credit. And, and, uh, Whoo, it's, it's it's tough for the Lions because they look at a situation. Ocho, it's been such a long time since they had time. you know yeah. been this far. Mm-hmm. Won won a playoff yeah. game. Uh, they were mm-hmm. in the playoffs. Hadn't won a playoff game since ninety one. Uh, here they they win two playoff games. They're up 17 mm-hmm. on the road in the NFC Championship mm-hmm. with an opportunity to go to the Super Bowl. This is this yeah. this hurts. Now, if you get blown yeah. out, you know you're like, oh man, we got blown out. The better team won, but you're mm-hmm. up 17. Mm-hmm. That's excuse right. me. That's what the fans. That's what they see. Mm-hmm. We're up 17, and how after we're playing so well, had played so well mm-hmm. up until that point. Where did we go mm-hmm. wrong? How did it all go wrong? What could we have done right. differently? What should we have done differently? You always mm-hmm. said you, you, you now you're you left, you know, hindsight mm-hmm. is a magnificent science of questioning myself. Right. What should I, what yeah. could I, then what would the result have been had I done this? Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. sure Dan Campbell is gonna replay it in his mind mm-hmm. also, Ocho. Should right. I have taken the points? Could I? I I'd be mm-hmm. interested to he somebody jump in the chat and see. He said if he had to do all over again, he I would do the exact same thing. That's who we are. I yeah. trust those guys on the field. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I mean, that, that's, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. It's about believing in your players, making those calls you made during the regular season and believing in them to make those plays at the right time, even in the NFC Championship game. It didn't work out in their favor. But when I look at it, even as Lions fans and Dan Campbell and players that are part of the Lions organization, now you've gotten a taste right. of it. Now you know what it's like. Now you know. Now you know what it takes to get to the postseason, and now you know what things you need to do to fix oh, to no. get further. As hard as it is to even yeah. get there, it's hard ain't to no get there. You coming back, it's Ocho? Very, it's very. There ain't no. Yeah, you right. You right with that. It's, we it's saw no, Philly. No Remember Philly went to the Super Bowl, and we're gonna right. like I said, we're gonna talk about this. And for Mahomes to be a six year starter, mm-hmm. this is his fourth trip. This is his fourth trip in That's five years. Shame. So it ain't no guarantee. Hey. And you 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 no, you, you no. cherish it, you relish it because you don't mm-hmm. know if and mm-hmm. when you'll ever get back. Cause there's no guarantee. Yeah. And sometimes fans yeah, the- make the mistake. Oh, we got there. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're gonna bring the team back. Bro, hey, a lucky nah, break here, an injury right. there, and it all falls apart. So <clears throat> So but it, it, it's tough for the Lions. I feel bad for them. I really do, Ocho, because seemingly mm-hmm. this has been their best opportunity in a very long time. A very, very yeah. long time. They their their offense is really, really good. Their defense is tough. Mm-hmm. They fly around, they make plays. They don't have the the most outstanding back end. The front seven is really good. They can pressure you, they do a great right. job of stopping the run for the most part. But they do give up some big plays on the back end. They, they you know, you can you can have mm-hmm. your way with them. But yeah, man, Ocho up seventeen on the road in a situation like this. You yeah, you know Detroit was That's going. Tough. First of all, Michigan was going crazy because they just coming off the oh, yeah. winning the national championship in football. Championship. And so now mm-hmm. Detroit, it just meant that, Ocho. You know how things just start to line up, and you say, "Oh man, it's an mm-hmm. omen. We just won the championship yeah. in football and college football. Yeah. We hadn't done that since '97." And then we had to share that. Now here's the Lions. We haven't won a playoff mm-hmm. game since 91. We won two playoff right. games. We're in the NFC Championship game. And we up midway through the third quarter. And it all yeah. falls apart. They they got they they had to be in heaven. I know they were. I could I could imagine that feeling, you know, where everything, every everything seemed to be going right in the city of Detroit. The season was phenomenal. Obviously, you like you said, Michigan, you know, Michigan winning. And I think it's a good thing, even though they didn't get to the promised land, even though they're not going to Vegas to play for the Lombardi, the season that they did have, it's a lot to be proud about. 
even with the decision making in today's game. It's still a lot to be proud about, proud about and a lot to build on. And I think they'll be fine. I think they'll be back, especially in that NFC uh what's that? Not NFC, NFC North. South. NFC South is Tampa. Then. What about NFC Green North. Bay? I, they, 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 what about Green Bay? Hey, They're in that division. Green Bay okay. Good. Hey, 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 uh-huh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, hey, what happened? They, they what happened when they played Green Bay mm-hmm. this year? It, it was it. That, that's that's it's up for grabs. When you get this two. close, Ocho, it's like window shopping. You look in there and you can see mm-hmm. the Lombardi. You are like, damn, yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 hey. You see that? Hey, 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 Gil. Yeah. Hey, come over here, man. I'm on say, brother. Hey. Hey, really, come on. Hey, with Jameson, come over here, man. Mm-hmm. Check this out. Man, look yeah. at that. Ooh, that face right is pretty. There. Right Ooh. there in front of you. Hey, hey, you could reach out and touch it. Oh, so you know when you go to the counter, you know, when you go to the uh you go to a pastry shop and you get close. See, you know, you ain't gonna you gotta put your face on the glass. Ooh, mm-hmm. which which one is yeah. that right there? No, what's what's that flavor? What's that one called? What what is that? Mm-hmm. Hey, what donut yeah. is that? You know, I remember when I was a kid and my aunt took us to Dunkin' Donuts. First time I went to Dunkin' Donuts. And I saw all those. Because normally, Ocho, you know, you go country boy like myself. You get two donuts. Either yeah. glaze or chocolate glaze. That's all you got. Glaze. You ain't have all the, yep. you ain't have no, no bacon on top and no chocolate chip and no stuff filled mm-hmm. and no bear claws and all this other stuff. You just So I go to Dunkin' Donuts and they got about 40 donuts, different donuts lined up. Right, right. Ooh, I got to get close to Ocho. Let me get about. I got to get close to Ocho. Right, I gotta, right. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I got something for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got that's, something better. Than that's, that's how I was, man. Because I, I, I hadn't seen anything like that. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, hey, yeah, I had some hot, hot hey, light was they on. They're going to have to come with, have to come with hot a Hot light was on. Oh my bad, my nah. bad, my bad. I, I mean, we were yeah. talking about donuts. I and got so, excited. I got excited. That's the, hey, yeah, you know we're good. Fat. But I'm saying that's that's the thing is that when you get to the AFC or the NFC Championship game, you're one step away. You're window shopping, and you missed and 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 you you have the opportunity. And I've been. I mean, in '91, we got to the AFC Championship game, lost to Buffalo 10-7. And it was 92, 93, 94. We got to the playoffs in 93, got to the playoffs again in 96. And it wasn't until 97, 98 that we were able to get over the hump as the Broncos. But you don't take those things for granted because you don't know. You you don't. You just don't. And even though we had John coming back and John was still in his prime, that was John, I think, that was probably John ninth year, 10th year, maybe 11th year in the league. So he was still fairly young. But, man, you just you just don't know. You just don't know if and when the opportunity will present itself, when it will knock, and then you seize seize the moment. But give moment, give the forty right. nine a lot of credit because they didn't panic. I saw one time Kyle had the, had the board. Hold on, Kyle had the board, and I could see Steve. Steve, Will, what what are we doing? You know, he's like, what are we doing? I mean, he's like, we got to get out some of this man coverage. I mean, the, the killers with the crosses. He's like, you know, he's he's like, what are we what are we doing? Because you've got to stop something, Ocho. You can't let them run and yeah. throw the ball. Damn. <laughs> and throw the ball. <laughs> can we stop you something? Pick, you got to pick yeah. your poison. We got to stop. <laughs> hey, and that's the thing. If you look at talk to most great defensive coordinators, they say we're going to shut the run off. Mm-hmm. Because now if right. we shut the run off, now the play action, we don't nearly have to bite as hard to get somebody down there because right. we know our front seven is going to take care of the run. If you look at Coach Saban, mm-hmm. if you look at Coach Belichick, if you look at the great defensive-minded coaches, they say shut off the run, right. and then we'll get to your mm-hmm. quarterback. But if you let them run the ball, now your linemen got to stay in there a little longer. They just can't zoom off the ball and try to go chase down the quarterback because now I might hit a quick play up in there and now the running back is up on your secondary. But give right, I, I, right, I, right, right. I think we should give – the 49ers, a lot of credit. And I think we should give Brock Purdy a lot of credit because – Man, I, man you, but you see Brock – you see Brock take, when nothing take was off running. Open, he went to one, he went to yeah, two, went to yeah, three, and took off like he – like where that come from? Out of it. I ain't seen – I ain't seen Purdy run like okay. that. And he was running with purpose now. We just talked about – He wasn't just running. He was running with purpose. With AFC, with the NFC Championship game, we're one game away. We're a win away from going to Vegas in the Super right. Bowl. So right. now uh-huh. you do things that you won't, you wouldn't normally do. Normally do, yeah. In the second nature, you just know mm-hmm. this is what's required of me, and I go do it. But right. I, the last two weeks, <coughs> Brock Purdy has been everything that I wanted to see from him. 
because he was down mm-hmm. basically the entire game in Green Bay and for the lion's share of the game here tonight, lion, lions, right? For this game tonight, and when he needed to rise to the occasion, he made throws. Yeah, he got a break. Yeah, the one handed catch by Jennings. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, the yeah. ball bounces off the Detroit Lions players, uh, defensive player face mask, and Ayuk makes a great play. Yes. But mm-hmm. he made some throws, the throws to Debo's, the throws to uh, 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 Kittle late. At, uh, uh, yeah, Kittle? C-Mac all of a sudden started running the ball. All of a sudden, he started getting a crease. And those three and four yards all of a sudden started getting becoming eight and nine. And next thing you know, he popped one at 15-20. Yeah. The 49ers will be commended because they could it could have went the other way because you're at home. And I think one mm-hmm. thing is that the crowd stayed in it. The crowd stayed – because normally you get down on the road by 17, Ocho. Boy, that's a tough uphill climb. That's a tough one. Listen, do you know Do you know how many other teams that would have been in this situation that don't have the offense that the 49ers do? And if they were down by 17 mm-hmm. that early in the game, there was yeah. no coming back? There were there, there are only so many teams in the NFL that had the makeup in the DA, DNA to come back from a 17-point yeah. deficit. Everybody ain't no, built no, like no, that. absolutely not. Don't no, have the team to do. Everybody no, ain't no, built like no. that. Seventeen. You gotta have. We talk about the NFL now. You have to have weapons, and you look at what they got. They've yeah. got Kittle, who's a multi, many time All Pro. Debo's been an All Pro. McCaffrey's been an All Pro. Mm-hmm. They got skill position yeah. players, and IU played yeah. ju- this year like a number one receiver. Mm-hmm. I don't know mm-hmm. if they're gonna yeah. be able to bring him back because he's gonna command a lot of money on the open market. Yeah, because he's yeah, shown he's that I'm a number one. And somebody should play, pay him mm-hmm. like that. He can run the tree. He's yeah. tremendous after the catch. Mm-hmm. And all things you catch, know about yeah. 49ers, if you get a 49ers a skill position player, that SOB can mm-hmm. block. You watch them guys. You remember Jennings last week? He took the guy from Green Bay to the water oh, cooler. Oh, hey, he, hey, he, 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 he was doing it. He was doing it today too. He was getting on people's nerves with the I Lions, knew. man. What did they do? Block down the field. Yeah. We know Debo's a blocker. Yeah. Christian McCaffrey on the blitz. Yeah. You check. Mm-hmm. Nope. Hey, you, you saw that pickup yes. on that third down? You saw that pickup that uh, yes. McCaffrey? Boy, he little, he little as hell to be sitting hey, there like that. You got to. If you go play running back in that field, in the West Coast system, Ooh. and he knows Ooh. on a seven-step drop, you can't cut because the guy yeah. get up off the ground and get to your quarterback. You got yeah. you got a 30-minute yeah. chance. You got to hit him in his mouth. Yeah. And if he runs over you, yeah. hey, he ran over you. You got to live Oh, your it. shot. Hey, mm-hmm. I'm aiming. I see. I'm going to pick a. Hey, I'm going to close the distance because what you got to put mm-hmm. – I'll block from the backfield so I know a little something about this, Ocho. The one thing yeah. you got to do, especially in Dan Reeves' system, I've got to close the distance. I'm not going to give you a uh-huh. two-way street. I'm not going to have you doing all this. I'm going to step up in the gap, and you got to come through me to get to Purdy. Well, you had to come through me to get to number seven. Hey, it's me and you. What happened if you meet it? What happened if it's a thumper, man? But see, what if I could hear the thing, thumper? Ocho, that's why I can't let him get ahead of steam. See, that's why I right, close right, the right. distance. You, I immediately hey, step up. You definitely, you yes, got to meet him. You got to yes, definitely meet because him. Because you have to understand to. now, he's from a standstill position. Now he's going to take uh-huh. off. I'm going to meet him in the A or the B gap. Or if I'm on yeah. the edge, I got, hey, I'm going to get to my tackle. Because I got to close the distance yeah. and I don't want to give him a two-way go. So I step to him, mm-hmm. limit where he can go, make him come through me. Right. I'll react to anything yeah. else, but I'm going to make you come mm-hmm. through me. Yeah. Once I hit him, I drop my hips. You ain't going yeah. nowhere. Hey. You, grab, you, grab, you grab it up in here? Anytime the thing that I tell guys, if he push, I pull. You pull, I push. Right. Push. Yeah. Ain't going nowhere. Hey, how you doing, man? We have a conversation. Oh, the ball gone? Because <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Once we get here, right. ain't nobody moving. Ain't, no, no, ain't nobody moving. Ain't it's, nobody it's going nowhere. It's a wrap. Yep. But that was a great game. Congratulations. Detroit, you had an unbelievable season. That's not a good consolation to hear at this point in time because you're so close. Mm-hmm. But I think the 49ers right. and Brock Purdy, what you guys were able to do, Kyle Shanahan, <clears throat> the past two weeks, remember when Kyle Shanahan got down by more than this many points? Last two weeks, yeah. Brock Purdy showed us. Brock Purdy showed us something, Ocho. He showed us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did. He did. Like, like you said, you want to see, you want to see him do it when it yes. matters most. And I, when every throw counted, and hell, shit, every run yes. counted. Because I ain't seen Purdy run like that. All he ran with anger. You could, you could, you could see it in his but body. What language. couldn't they do? If you fall behind, what can't you do? Turn it over. 
Yeah, because no now over. all of a sudden no you put them over. on short fields. Now you damn near almost conceding mm-hmm. points. They didn't yeah. turn the ball over. Yeah. They got into the rhythm. I got no problem. Mm-hmm. See, <clears throat> the way I look at it, Ocho, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna criticize, I got to be willing to give credit. I've been critical of Brock Purdy. I don't take nothing away because here's the thing, Ocho. People, fans, this is what you need to understand. When I critique a player, I'm critiquing the player on said information I have. If I get new information, I should be able to offer a different critique or analysis. You would be foolish. You would be absolutely asinine to have different, a different material, different stats, different, uh, 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 like I said, different stats. Purdy played. I wanted to see him play and and come from behind. Throws matter. Possessions matter. Mm-hmm. He did that. Why would I still say the same thing? Mm-hmm. Because, oh, you said, no. I have new information. Don't when you get new information, mm-hmm. Ocho, this is what happened. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man, I thought such and such. Nah, man, I'm glad you told me that. Now I see things different. Right. You would be foolish mm-hmm. if re- you thought something. Right. Rail tells you something different, and you still stick right. with that because that was your original premise. And that's what right. fans want you to do. No, dum dums, I have new information. <laughs> and if I have new information, I should have a separate mm-hmm. critique, right? Yeah, once once they put it on film, once they put it on film and change your mind based of what based on what you've seen yes. in the past or during yeah. the season, then you have to come out with a new critique based on yes. what you've seen. But that's when all. I'm looking I, I don't. I don't think fans never understand that because they say once you say something bad and you critique well, it a certain that. way, they expect you. They expect you to stay that way. But if they, if 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 Brock Purdy showed you something different on film, like he did today, because you want to see it in a game mm-hmm. of importance, where every throw mattered most, and then you, you you you're in a deficit. So that makes yes. it even worse. Can we put the game and the onus of the game on your shoulders when it matters the most? And he was he able, was able to, do, to that. do it. He was he able to do that. Unbelievable today. And he absolutely, when you needed it, because we talk about the weapons mm-hmm. that they have offense, and we're going to get into the Ravens in just mm-hmm. a second. But I want to make sure yeah. that we give both team, both conferences their due. Ocho, mm-hmm. you heard me say all year, I don't care how good your defense is or how good your offense is. Can you get done what you need to get done when you have to have it? Where well, the 49ers needed to get going. With all those skill position players, and what did they do? They went and mm-hmm. got it. Mm-hmm. We talked about the Ravens all year and that offense. All I know is this. They got 10 points today. Say whatever you want to mm-hmm. say. Oh, Taylor Swift was in the stand. They got 10 points. And the, that defense, mm-hmm. they led the, They led in, in points. When they needed to get out the yeah. field and get Lamar Jackson, what happened? I tweeted. I tweeted. I said, if I'm Andy Reid, I put the ball in my home's hands and say, son, go make a play. You're the best player in the world. Mm-hmm. What did he do, Ocho? Mm-hmm. He put the ball in my home's hand made, and he went and made a play. And he, ma- he ma- made a play. It doesn't matter. You talk about we average 40 points a game. We give up two points a game. Okay, when you need to get off a field on third down, could you defensively? When you needed to stay on the field as an offense, when you needed to get a touchdown, could you? It doesn't matter. All that other stuff doesn't matter if I can't get done what I need to get done. Ocho, what good is having a million dollars if you can't get it out? You got a million dollars in the bank and you can't touch it. They got it frozen. But you ain't got no million dollars. So what good is that stat? Okay, we led the league in scoring. You couldn't get off the field on third down. Oh, well, our offense, look what our offense did. It doesn't matter. I'm talking to somebody. I've led the league in scoring in 96. We averaged 30 a game and lost in the divisional round. As good as we are, we got Terrell. I'm a I'm an all pro. TD's an all pro. Ed McCaffrey, I think it's like a, we got like eight, nine guys go to the Pro Bowl. But when we needed it, we couldn't mm-hmm. get a first down. We couldn't get the ball in the end zone. And the defense couldn't get out the field. So all that other stuff that we had did in the regular season didn't mean a damn thing. Because at the end of the day, right. Can I get done what I need to get done when I absolutely got to have it? Oh, Tio, I mean, oh, Tio, Ocho, Canna, does it matter? <laughs> right. I mean, you mean right. to tell me I got Ocho, I got Tio, I got Gronk, I got Travis Kelce, I got Jerry Rice. We need a third down and we can't get it. We go for it on fourth down, we can't get it. So what the hell is that? What's that worth? What's that worth to you? Nothing. Nothing. Let's get to all. this game. Uh, guys, 
Ocho, we got 81,000 in the chat right now. Let's try to get, let's get, hey, 81,000, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. I know all y'all hadn't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Hit the like button and tell your friends, hey, man, man, Ocho, uh, man, they be on that thing. They get into us real. <laughs> they let us know what's really, really going on. So, uh, they say, say Ocho going to say, he going to get it to you wrong. Well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Pause, <laughs> I, pause, I, pause. I, said, I said Ocho say he going to give it to you wrong. That's you. I mean, <laughs> Willie wrong. That's what they call I, you at the crib. Wrong, I ain't, wrong. I ain't, I ain't say that. I, I said that's say coming. That. They already know they I call you wrong dog Willie in Liberty I, I, City. I, I, I ain't going to make that. Hey, I, I, I ain't going to make in, that mistake In Liberty no City, that's what they say. You know, how, you know how black people, you know how we describe people. Nah. Hey, man, you know old right. Craig? Man, you know Tom Musty Craig. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, you know, uh, 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 well, uh, do we call a, uh, Call it raw dog. I bet. Uh, uh, Ocho? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went nah, to school. Nah, I went nah, to school nah, on nah. raw dog. Listen, listen. In Liberty City, when they talk about me and they have a word to describe me, well, you know, Ocho, yeah, 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 I know that cheap motherfucker. Yeah. I know, I know him. Yeah. Well, he don't spend yeah. no money. Yeah, they they know that. Yeah, they they old raw dog Willie. Now they know him at the crib. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you know, hey, man, nah, you know, nah, uh, nah, uh, nah. you know, Kim. Man, you know, Big Booty Kim. Lay right around the corner. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Big Booty Kim. Yeah, 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 we, gotta, yeah, yeah. we got to describe somebody and then we can understand. We right, might right, not right, know the right, name, right. but if we describe them, right. oh, Big Booty Kim, right. oh, 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 Musty Craig, yeah. oh, yeah, oh, Musty and then, and then, Craig, it, yeah. It, 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 you recognize. Yeah. yeah, but, you know, at, at home, right here in the city, baby, you know, that's, that's how they describe me. Well, you know Ocho? Yeah. Well, you talking yeah, about the cheap yeah, you know, it's only, wrong, one, it's only one. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> no, nah, I don't know about no wrong, because I, I don't even eat sushi. Yeah, I don't even eat sushi. <laughs> man, you got me up here sweating. Turn this up a little bit. Hey. The Chiefs go on the road. Hey, I'm, I'm, go ahead, go ahead. What you want to say? I'm hurting. I'm I'm hurt. I'm hurting. I'm hurting by that game too. I see. I see you going with it. You you get ready to start it. I I, I had the Ravens winning. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm just I'm gonna start before you even go. I had the Ravens winning, and I wasn't using logic. I was going mm -hmm. with my heart. I'm yeah. just gonna be honest with you. I'm going with my heart. I'm thinking a a f a f c North. I'm thinking about for the most physical division in football. We finna go in and hit these boys in the mouth. I'm thinking about Lamar Jackson. You know what? I need Lamar to win this because I know I can't wait till Lamar win this so I can boast and brag and we can get most of the, the analysts and most of the pundits off of him so I can talk trash about everybody that's ever had anything to say, oh, he should have been a running back. Oh, he should have been this, blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking, you know what? That's home yeah. team. I'm finna, I'm finna root for home team, you know? You right up the road, you know, ain't too far from me, ain't too far from right. Liberty City, you right up the road. I'm rooting for Zay Flowers, even though, even though I'm a bangle, you know, my allegiance will always be there. But, you know, I'm thinking about, okay, Mahomes, well, damn, knowing what him and Andy Reid going to cook up, they going to always get another opportunity mm -hmm. to be back. They going to always, you know, be in contention. So, you know, that's 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 my fault. I'm hurting a little bit for Lamar, for Zay, and, but I'm going to let you go ahead and rock uh, on. Chat, want me to call you Rocho Cinco. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Rail, 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 where you at, Rail? That, man, get these, get, that get might these be Rail, man. Me, Rail might have wanted to be the one that started it. But we do have 81,000 in the chat right now. Let's see if we can get to 100. That would be great. We're 19,000 away from 100. What's our record, 93? Our record is 91. Huh? <coughs> let's, see let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get to a, a even Hyundai. The Ravens, the Chiefs go on the road, beat the Ravens 17-10. Chiefs head to their fourth Super Bowl in five years. Mahomes was an efficient 30 of 39, 241, and one touchdown. Travis Kelsey finished with 11 catches on 11 targets for 116 yards and a touchdown. Kelsey now has eight 100 receiving yards, eight 100 receiving yard games in the playoffs. And he eclipsed Jerry Rice 151. He had, Jerry Rice had the record 151 catches in playoff history. Travis Kelsey has 156 and counting. If I don't know if that's not GOAT, given what his resume yeah. is in the regular season, given what he's right. done in the postseason, mm -hmm. and you see he mm -hmm. had a case of the drops in the, this season. Yeah. He made some big-time catches. That one that Mahomes was throwing, and he threw it, and, and he caught it. And he and he had the yeah, lead for it. The ball. Man. Mm -hmm. Man, I don't know what. 
I, I don't know if Mahomes and Andy Reid are beatable. Forget what Andy Reid calls as a play. What Mahomes is able to do with processing information within the timing of the offense, and if it's not there, being able to extend plays with his legs, make throws, different arm yeah. angles. Like, it's, it's unbelievable on what he was able to do today. Talk about, I'm in shock. I've been watching the game of football all my right. life, Uncle. I've been watching all my life. You got a dude at your ankle. You got another dude dripped on your waist, and you still make the pass and the throw to Kelsey for mm -hmm. a first down. Like, what are we doing? So nothing, nothing was working. Then I'm waiting on the Ravens. I'm waiting on the Ravens. Okay, y'all boys know how to run the ball. Let's let's run the ball. Let's run the ball to make throwing the ball a little easier. At what point did we get away from the game plan on what has been working for? I'm I'm about to say us on what has been working for y'all the entire. Well, that's season. kind of been happened to them. You 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 can't sit there and just run, throw on first down, throw on second down, throw on third down. That's not gonna work. Cause you you need if you don't get them boys out that goddamn two shell, it's a wrap. It's gonna be a long but day. You have to give them credit. Spags did a great job of control blitzing. He he heat him up the first half. Every time they went back, Man, he coming. Spags blitz it seemed like goddamn ninety percent <laughs> of the coming. time. He never allowed Lamar to get because what do you have to do, Ocho? The, the running game could get couldn't get With going. With a guy like Lamar, I gotta make I gotta I gotta speed his process up. I got to make him make decisions right. like this. I'm not. I'm not gonna right, let you right, sit right. back there and pat the ball. I'm not gonna right, let you right. do that. I'm gonna make you make a decision, and you got to make it pronto. Okay, but well, Mister Munkin, where are the adjustments early in the game? If you know Spags likes the blitz, you know his percentage. He has a, a high percentage of of liking the blitz. Where are the adjustments for that to counter what he's doing? Because all you got to do is hit him big one time. Right. You hit Spags with that blitz big one time. All that shit ceases. It might not cease. It, it ceased to a certain extent, but it wouldn't be as high. There was they had a high volume of blitzing on first, second, third down. Then the penalties, the, the penalties. I don't who was the tackle. I don't who was the tackle. I, I I don't know what tackle it was. Uh, maybe the left, the left or the right tackle. The penalties was killing. Oh, you, them. The penalties was killing. Oh, you talking about the guard? Putting them in. Putting them in. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> you hold like I think they had what? I'm with a three. Eight penalties for ninety-five yards. Chiefs ain't had. Chiefs had three penalties for thirty yards. But Ocho, game. but you get unsportsmanlike. Three like, penalties Ocho. for thirty yards. But they was hitting Mahomes in the face. They make it seem like well, they don't call that. They gonna call that okay. every time. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that, yeah, that, 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 that one, that, that one, that one with those D line. Or, or yeah. the one that yeah, yeah, Xavier Clowney hit him up under his chin. They gonna throw the flag every time. Yeah. They're not gonna let you hit the quarterback every time, like that every time. Well, well, also there, there, there was some, there was some penalties. There was, a, there was a penalty on Likely that wasn't called. That, that should have been pi. There, there should have been a PI where uh, he spun out. He he, yeah. he settled in on the route and he spun right. out of it when Lamar might have been scrambling or something. DB grabbed him and pulled him down. That, we got to stop. We see, flag. see, the problem I have with fans is that anytime Lamar doesn't right. play well, they blame the OC. Now, for the last five, four, five years, y'all bl blame Greg Roman. Right. They got rid of Greg Roman. Right. Todd Munkin, you win the MVP. Okay, let me ask you a question. On that strip sack, how, how did him, Lamar, fumbling the ball – how did that help the Ravens cause? Because likely throws no, because but, likely throws his hand up. Do you Lamar, even right. though he, Lamar maybe a, a likely can't see? He's triple covered. Mm -hmm. That's it looks like to me that mm -hmm. they didn't show me the all 22, but I'm gonna say that's Tampa too. Yeah. Because, the, the, the safety came over for another side. He, he was there because there was nobody holding. Plus him, the so linebacker is holding. running with you down the hole. So I'm gonna say that's Tampa yeah. too. Because it's, so it's gonna look like right. it's gonna look like 3D. Because the mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. the Mike Backer is carrying the middle of the field, so what? So the two turnovers you had, what do you have? Three turnovers, Zay Jones. So what role did the turnovers play in that? No, why why are you changing it? They got to change that. Uh, whoa, I'm talking about Kansas City you, recovered the ball. You penalizing, wait, you penalizing Kansas the City the recovered the ball. It didn't go out of the end zone. Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. But I'm, I'm just saying in general, you know what I'm yes, talking about, I mean, right? Huh? You when said the ball, if the ball, when you, if the ball, the ball like, it, like Buffalo out of bounds, yeah. last week, yeah. ball goes out Bingo. of the end zone. Yeah, yeah. They, they got, yes, I agree. Yeah, they, I they agree. Gotta take that out. I agree. They got to take that out. They got to yes. take that out. Okay. Yeah, but 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 Zay, Zay got to hold, Zay got to hold on to that. Zay got to hold on to that. And then Lamar on the strip sack, your process. Thank your you. Clock. You got that. That ain't seven on seven. You can't. 
you got you got, the, you got to have that cocky head. But I like I like what he's doing though. I like what he's doing because he's trying to show you that he can be a pocket passer. He doesn't always have to just why you know what it's not there. Why? Take off and run. But you got to have you that clock in your head. Did? He wasn't nothing down there. What did he do, Ocho? Take off and run. You just said Brock Purdy. He wasn't nothing there. That, he hit you out. You see, sign up. sometimes right. black quarterbacks get caught and they let people, oh, I ain't going to use my legs. I'm going to show you. I can process. I can stand here. But we used to say, they're not going to let you jack the ball off in the back there like you in 7 on 7. Ocho, you know in 7 on 7, the quarterback doing all this right here. Yeah. He'll let you, yeah, they're the not going to let you do that. That's an actual game. Mm -hmm. They're going to peel your cap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he got to yeah. speed up. Okay, 1,001, 1,002. You, Two. It, by the time. Yeah. By the time you hit that three, you better be ready to go. If ain't, ain't nothing over, you And you, you better hope that guy. By the time you say three, that guy ain't doing this in the back of your head. Because that's exactly mm -hmm. what happened. Yeah. Chop. And these guys have gotten good. Once mm -hmm. LT came along, it's not good enough to get the quarterback. Get the ball out. Right. Get, get the, the ball, ball out. out. LT, yeah. DT, you go look at the linebackers. They get an open shot like that. Oh, they chopping. They chopping. Mm -hmm. Ain't no bitch. Oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna throw the quarterback down. You got that ball like this, they chopping that hand. But yeah. Lamar didn't play yeah. well. It's okay. He's gonna be the MVP. He earned that award. But he didn't play well. And I've said this before. Patrick Mahomes is the best player in football, and it's not close. Joe Burrow, J uh, Josh Allen, and Lamar Jackson, if we say those are the three best quarterbacks next to Mahomes, Mahomes is in a class by himself. You ask every general manager, if they're honest, they would take Patrick Mahomes over their quarterback. Baltimore would take Patrick Mahomes over Lamar. Buffalo would take uh, Patrick Mahomes over Josh Allen. Cincinnati, the Chargers would take Patrick Mahomes. It's not close, Ocho. It's not even close. Because you know why? He went to your building and beat you. He went to Josh Allen and beat him. He beat Joe Burrow. They're not close to this man, Ocho. What does he have to do? Right. Four Super Bowls in Listen, five years. He's been the mini yeah, Super Bowl, I, I, I and Josh Allen has been in the league. I can't even argue the fact. I can't even argue the fact because of his resume and what he's done That's in such a short point. amount of time. The fact, the fact, this is the. I don't think people in the chat. I don't think you understand how crazy this is. This is it the is. NFL. <laughs> this ain't a game of Madden. This ain't seven oh seven. This ain't high school football. The man has been in the year six years. They've been in the league six years. I don't keep going to his fourth yeah. Super Bowl. Fourth in five years. He going to his fourth. Four four Super Bowl in five years. Unk, I played 11, 12 years. I never sniff a Super Bowl. Think about it, Ocho. Never, I never never sniff. And people will say, oh, well, you play with the Patriots. Man, I ain't do shit with the motherfucker, so that shit don't count. <laughs> I'm talking about that. You know, I'm talking about well, I actually put in the work, you know, going through training yeah. camp and, and went through the went through the ringer for 16 weeks and, and actually made it, you know, and, and and done something to get there. I never ever Oh, that's it's crazy. And how you you ever watch him home play? Oh, uh, is it me or does he just make it he look does. so easy? Like nobody else is. I trying? saw him. He didn't make it look so easy. I'm like, man, what is you Ocho, doing? I saw him in 2017. He started one game when they yeah. had everything sewn up and they rested the mm. starters. And he came in. Right. And it was uh -huh. cold. It was probably 10 to 20, 10, 20 degrees in Denver. I say he the real. I say Alex Smith ain't taking another slap. I say after the playoffs, Alex Smith will never take. Hey, I say Alex Smith will never take another snap in Kansas City. You could you could see in that game, mm -hmm. he wasn't supposed mm -hmm. to be that good. But there's a reason why right. Andy that, zoomed that, up that early. No, that early. No, there's a reason why right. Andy zoomed up, gave up two first rounders in order to get this mm -hmm. kid because he saw mm -hmm. with this kid arm, with his improvisational mm -hmm. skill. Like you said, can change mm -hmm. arm slots, can run mm -hmm. if necessary. He's a very reluctant yes, runner, but hey, he'll take off. Hey, my whole thing, that thing, he had that tongue out. Yeah, he had that tongue to the side, and he started looking around. <laughs> he yeah. ran like he got to take a dump. You know, he, he got that flap jacket yeah. on, stomach out, but yeah, I like, got oh, the, I got to run to the back. He got that old man run. I like, old man, man, he run. Going to the, he going straight to the locker room. He got to go drop one off. Hey, but hey, he picking them up and putting them down. But when the money mm -hmm. is on the table, every time, bet your house, 
Bet, bet your house and if every it time. Weren't, think about it. If it wasn't for Brady, Brady beat him in an AFC championship game his first year starting. Mm. Brady beat him in a Super Bowl. Twice, right? No. Both, yeah. uh, Burrow got him and, and, Mah- and uh, Brady got, got him. him. But just think, Brady if it wasn't him, for yeah. Brady, how many – you might be already proclaiming him to go with four or five yeah. Super Bowl yeah. wins in his first six years of starting. People yeah, don't, crazy. like I said, Ocho, Ocho, no... they don't realize it. Mm-hmm. They, I, and Because yeah. I understand when you have your quarterback and Cincinnati have Burrow and when you have really good ones. But if you think your guy mm-hmm. is really, really good, this mm-hmm. guy is what we call a multiplier. Yeah. He's 2X, 3X yeah. better than what you think. So yeah. whatever you think of your quarterback, and I'm not, I'm talking about the top <laughs> seven, eight quarterbacks, whatever you think about right. your quarterback, he's a 2X, <clears throat> 3X better. Mm-hmm. You, you know what? He he is a 2X, 3X better, but I and I, I don't I don't want to bring up Joe Burrow. I don't want to bring up the Bengals because that's not what we're talking about right now. But I also like to talk about what Joe has been able to do in changing the Bengals the organization in such a short amount of time. Sh- changing the culture. That's I, to attest to his yes. greatness. Because it's been a long time. He'd have been to a Wait, second Super Bowl if it wasn't for Mahomes. He'd have been to two. He'd have been to two. <laughs> two already. Yeah. Yeah. So that that's a that's an a testament. Obviously, he doesn't have the resume that Mahomes has, but what he's been able to do in such a very uh, also a very short amount of time. And we're gonna always be in contention. We're gonna always be in contention as long as we got number nine at the helm. But but goddamn Mahomes greatness, man, is 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 unparalleled. There's really nothing you can say. I mean, what's a negative? What what's a knock? What what is there that you can say that's that's bad? There's there's nothing. You have to you have to find well, something I'm like, and, to say and, bad look, about. For, and um, since he hurt his leg, he hurt his knee on the quarterback's knee, and I don't know how many, mm-hmm. but they're very reluctant since he hurt that knee on the quarterback's knee to let to let you him do, do quarterback sneak, sneak now? because if it's third and a foot, you turn around and hand the yeah. ball to your running back that's six yards deep. He's mm-hmm. got to get seven yards. Yards. You right there one. just by barrel ahead. But they're very reluctant, mm-hmm. kind of like Peyton Manning. Once he had that neck injury, yeah. Peyton Manning never did a quarterback sneak again. Yeah, it was a wrap. So that. they're very reluctant to do the quarterback sneak. But, Ocho, mm-hmm. I didn't see this. You and I, we came on here. You and I have been at this thing for 20-plus weeks now. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah. Ocho, yeah. this is the worst Kansas City offense that I've seen. And I'm not so sure. Oh, during I, the season? Yeah. Yes. During the season? Oh, it yes. was horrible. Yes. It was horrible. And I said, even with Mahomes' greatness, I said, because yeah. he's not playing to the level that I'm used to seeing him play with. And with the skill position right. players around him that's dropped off. Mm-hmm. But yeah. think about it. The play Kadarius Tony, the uh, Kadarius Tony, we're going to talk about him in a minute. The play that M- the play that MBS made today, do people realize how yeah. hard that is? Because he catches the ball, yeah. and as soon as he catches it, it hits. You know the ground normally it, pops yeah. that out. It lodged the ball right out. Every nine, listen, nine times out of ten. But he had the death claw, he had the death grip on that one. <laughs> that, joke, that thing right there, he like, hey. Yeah. To call mm-hmm. that play. And Andy says, I knew I didn't. He said that we thought we we're gonna get a heavy yeah. dose of zero they coming. Mm-hmm. Not a but see, and I'm a firm believer in this, Ocho. Let me know what you think. I'm not a guy. If a guy, if they got cover zero, I'm not trying to get no first down. I'm trying to break your mm-hmm. neck. I'm trying to rip your heart yeah, out. Yeah. I'm going over the top. Yeah, that, yeah. Why would I run a top, stop yeah. right on cover zero? Yeah. And cut, uh, listen, the, the corner know it's coming. The corner know it's coming. So what are they going to do? They're going to sit. They're going to they gamble. Squatting. They play oh, the sticks. Easy, I got me an easy. They play the sticks. They play the sticks every time. You know what? Quarterback, just retreat and throw it off your back foot. Let him go deep. Yes. Let him go Lamar deep. was 20 of 37, 272, one touchdown and an interception. He had eight carries for 54 yards, and he lost the fumble. Mm-hmm. Uh, Patrick Mahomes yeah. was 30 of 39, 241, one touchdown, zero picks. And he also had how many rush yards? Rush yards. Oh, P. Mahomes had six for 15. Uh, he didn't get very far. And 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 Kansas yeah. City didn't run the ball. I mean, hey, but hey, that that fifteen that fifteen was yes. important though. And that fifteen was Pacheco important. Pacheco ran the ball twenty four times for sixty six yards, and mm-hmm. people say, "Well, why didn't uh, 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 um, Lamar run the ball? Well, they didn't have the ball. I think they had the ball what eighteen plays in the first half, and they couldn't mm-hmm. get a rhythm. It was three and out. Mm-hmm. It was you know it, they were never on the field long enough 
until they fell for behind. And that's the question that everybody yeah. asks. If they fall behind by two scores, can Lamar just throw them back into the ball game? Because if we saw Lamar the first year he won the MVP against Tennessee, mm-hmm. he had over 500 yards, right. but he turned the ball over. Mm-hmm. over. And I, I kept saying, I said, Ocho, all the teams that we're talking about potentially have had mm-hmm. big turnover mm-hmm. days. Kansas City had theirs. Yeah. The 49ers had theirs. I said, what happens mm-hmm. if the Ravens have a multiple turnover day in the playoffs? I said, they're going right. home. Oh, man, yeah. your best shot. Yeah. Man, you don't know what you're talking about. You a hater. You ain't even yeah. – I don't even know why I don't even know why they let you talk to Ravens. Man, I can't believe you mm-hmm. said that. You played for the Ravens. So everything that go on mm-hmm. with the Ravens, you should co-sign even if it's wrong. No, no, I'm not going to do that. <coughs> yeah, you play double for turnovers. Now 17 in the makeup of the team, the makeup of the, in the DNA of the team offensively. They are built offensively to come back from deficits of that Ooh. magnitude. You look at the, you, uh, the oh, yeah, 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 earlier today. When I look up, when I look at the makeup of the Ravens, are they really built to be able to come back from deficits like that, or you come from behind and you're trying to overcome turnovers? That's really not your right. forte. That's really not what you do. You run the ball very well, and when you need to throw it, you throw it because the running game is very efficient, and it pulls everything else up to make the make the pass. But the thing easy. with the Ravens, they like to throw the ball. Kansas City forced them to throw on their terms. The Ravens were never yeah. able to throw the ball on their terms. And when you can run the football mm-hmm. like they can run it, now I dictate. Mm-hmm. I throw when I want to throw they- it. But Kansas City yeah. did a great yeah. job of forcing them to throw. Well, we know you're going to throw it, so we're going to play a cut uh, accordingly. Mm-hmm. That was the problem that they had. And because they didn't get the ball that much, and team, I don't care what anybody says, T- defensive coordinators still believe the way to beat the Ravens is to force Lamar Jackson to throw the football from the pocket. Mm. Or blitz. Him. Oh, they're gonna blitz him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Blitz you gotta blitz him. Make him make quick to see. Yeah. Blitz him, blitz him. But you gotta make him play for the pocket. But you hurt. can't get out of your lanes, though, Ocho. Yeah. yeah, but this is the thing. This is this is one of the few areas, one of the one of the few areas that he's improved tremendously. Now you let him sit back there and pat the ball and be able to process information and throw from the pocket, he's gonna yeah. beat you every time. Now you put a little pressure on him and make him uncomfortable. Yes, you know. Now that's a different ball game. But just just saying, oh, we're gonna let Lamar sit in the pocket and just beat it through through the air. Oh, he would he would he will surgically he will surgically get your ass together. But you put a little pressure and then you 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 play bump and squeeze that pocket and condense it so he can't go nowhere. Now we now now that's a different ball game. Uh, and they force they force they I mean th- if you think about it, they only ran what 53 plays, 37 pass attempts, 11, 13, 16. So 53. They only had they ran 53 plays. So, so if you that's, that's it, that's and because it? you're behind, you like we got to throw, we got to throw, but you weren't behind. I mean, yeah. I could see if they were high, behind, like the 49ers were behind, mm-hmm. but seven points is nothing. I mean, ten points is nothing, Ocho. And people say the Kansas City Chiefs got shut out in the second half. Well, the Ravens scored three points. Y'all make it seem like the Ravens scored forty points. They scored three. And Kansas City went to halftime with a t- with a ten point lead. So if you score three, I score nothing. Guess what's gonna happen at the end of the game, Ocho? I'm gonna win, right? Because I already got the lead. Mm-hmm. You need to score more than what I score. Mm-hmm. So if I got a seventeen seven lead and I score no points, mm-hmm. you score three. I'm still up seventeen ten. Right. Teams still believe the best way to beat him. They're gonna blitz him, but to make him throw the ball from the pocket. Mm-hmm. They still fear Lamar yeah. legs way more than they fear his arm. That's just that's just yeah. fact. That's not hating. Yeah, that's I, not I, anything. I'm right. just telling you how defensive coordinators, when they see the Ravens, they feel the best way to beat them is to put the ball in mm-hmm. Lamar's hand and make him throw it. Not let him get to those legs. I like it. I like it. I mean, we 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 could agree to disagree on that part because I've I've, I've watched him be surgical from the pocket, but but you're right. but you got to be right. surgical when it matters, Ocho. Consider, yeah, consider. Oh, you're right. You're right. And goddamn Spags made that shit very, very difficult today. Very, very difficult. That shit. Oh, you don't. Know, oh, you don't understand how bad I wanted this. Yes. For, for, not, not, not the Ravens. Not, not the Ravens. I'm talking about just Lamar. Lot, 
home team. <laughs> I just, I just want to see, damn, home team about to go to the Super Bowl. I can't wait. Boy, Zay finna be in the Super right. Bowl. Boy, I know they finna be going crazy out there in Broward. That's my mindset I'm thinking. I'm not even thinking about – I'm not even an NFL player at this right. point. I just want to see home team in the Super Bowl. Boy, um, the way that game was going, I was hurting. I say, man – when are y'all gonna make adjustments? They blitzing on, they blitzing, they bring up, they bring people yeah. from everywhere. Do something even different. Even the... Do something different. Nothing changed. Oh, Joe, you gotta think about it. If Lamar Jackson is not Lamar Jackson, they got him dead to right on that first touchdown to Zay Flowers. The guy come in and, and spins yeah. him right. He got him dead to right. He got him dead to mm -hmm. right, Ocho. You can't draw. Ocho, yeah. you gotta look. He smoked the layup. It's like we run the perfect backdoor pick, Ocho. And then you got, oh, we got it. Hey, LeBron bounced past it, and you smoked the layup. Spags had the perfect play call. Backer loops, got it. Go mm -hmm. get up on the way. You got a linebacker trying to cover Zay Flowers down the field, which is a total no no, a mismatch. But it is what it is. Mismatch. Lamar throws the perfect pass. It's a touchdown. Mm -hmm. But we're mm -hmm. not talking about Lamar Jackson in the re in, in the regular season. We know mm -hmm. he's going to win his second MVP. But he deserves the same mm -hmm. criticism that we gave Aaron Rodgers, the same criticism that right. we gave Peyton Manning. You remember Peyton Manning had all those mm -hmm. MVPs and they had no Super yeah. Bowls and kept going out in the first yeah. round, the second round? Mm -hmm. Lamar Jack, because that, the yeah. thing is, is that you he's an MVP. He should get critiqued harder, about to be a two-time. He should get critiqued harder mm -hmm. than other mm -hmm. players, unless it's Mahomes. Yeah. Unless it's uh, 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 Aaron Rodgers. Those are the two only yeah. active players. Three, there are three active players that have MVPs. Aaron Rodgers has four. Patrick Mahomes has two. Lamar Jackson's about to have two. For us, hey, yes. I have a question. You think they critique Aaron Rodgers? Hell yeah. But do, do you, boy? I ain't really. I ain't really I ain't boy, he got by Aaron Rodgers. boy, he got beat by the 49ers. He got beat by Jimmy G. He got cooked. When he lost to Tom For Brady real? at home, and Brady and Brady had three turnovers. He got cooked. Right. He okay, was fifteen okay, okay, and okay, one. Okay. And 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 uh, uh 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 Eli went there and bumped him. He got cooked. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Do okay. you know what they did to Peyton Manning? Yeah. Remember Peyton Manning? He goes to Jeff oh, now, and they now got that, beat forty one nothing. That, that's that's early early because he was Manning. winning MVPs. You have to right, understand right. if Lamar Jackson doesn't have the MVP, wait, oh, okay, all bets are off. Yeah, you about yeah. to have two MVPs yeah. and you're two and five in the postseason. Mm -hmm. Yeah, juxtapose I mean, you, you, that you to Patrick Mahomes. You want... Patrick Mahomes is now fourteen right. and fourteen and two. He lost to Joe Burrow. Oh, 14 and three in the playoffs. Now he just tied Terry Bradshaw. Oh, that's crazy. 14, he 14 and, and three in the playoffs. I was 13 and 5 in, in, in 14 years, Ocho. People don't understand how hard it is oh, to win a playoff game. He makes crazy. it look easy. And a lot of times, greatness, no matter what, the, no matter what, we take, like when we see LeBron or we saw Jordan or we saw Kobe or we mm -hmm. saw the greats, mm -hmm. you take it for granted. That is hard. Yeah. When you see mm -hmm. these baseball players and you see a Griffey Jr. or you see a Barry Bond or you see Otani and those guys. Because they do it so so often, it's not easy and effortlessly. It's yeah. not. Yeah, they make it look easy. And people look. I think a lot of people are going to be rooting for the 49ers because people are people are tired so? of Taylor Swift. That was all. Been, that's all I saw in my timeline. Oh, Taylor Swift, stop! Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift ain't on the Thank field. You. That what you need to be worried about. You need to stop short. As a matter of fact, because here's the thing. What y'all don't understand, the NFL, and I took a page out of the NFL book when it came to my podcast. Right. I'm a sports uh -huh. guy. People would naturally assume I just talk to athletes. But I wanted mm. to talk to entertainers. I wanted to talk to actors. I wanted to talk to celebs. I need a different viewing audience. The NFL said, all y'all that's complaining, y'all gonna watch. But those little 8 to 15-year-old girls, they not watching. They gonna come, yeah. And now advertising, yeah. see, that's a new base that we can get to. Mm -hmm. So while y'all talking, stop showing on Taylor Swift, the NFL. Roger Goodell promised those owners. He said, "I'm gonna turn this into a 25 billion dollar annual 
revenue. In mm -hmm. order to do that, mm -hmm. you gotta have new sources of revenue. Guess mm -hmm. what? And that was the best one. Amazon said we one. want live events. Yeah. Netflix mm -hmm. want live events. They just signed a deal, $5 mm -hmm. billion dollars with WWE. What would they play to get yeah. a playoff game? YouTube, we want live events. What did they play? Yeah. $2.2 a year to take over for mm -hmm. direct TV. Y'all need to understand, NFL playing chess, y'all playing mm -hmm. checkers. Y'all talking yeah, about stop just, playing Taylor yeah. Swift. They said that we're not hey, going to stop playing Taylor Swift because she's bringing a different I, demographic and new set of eyeballs. Different set of eyes, yeah. I, I said I say that we, uh, we did the show a while ago. I think when she first went, went, went to uh, one of the other games, I, I was trying to explain even then, you know, people, you have to think. You always remember the NFL's bottom line is always is always is always money. It will always be about a dollar, no matter what, no matter what anybody says. Always and understand the attention that she brings and the people, the eyes that she brings that don't even watch the yes, game of football. The little girl, they don't even watch the, the game of girl. football. It is it, 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 it's it's crazy in what what she's been able to do for the NFL from a different perspective of those that don't even oh, watch. Taylor Swift has generated an equivalent brand value of 331 million point five for the Chiefs and the NFL Apex Marketing Group tells front office sports. That figure includes print, digital, radio, TV, highlights, social media, going back to uh, Taylor Swift's first game in September. Now tell me the NFL player. Okay, no, no, the NFL. Tell me the other person that's going to do that. Wait. How many? How many? Three hundred and thirty-one million dollars in value. Hold on. Let me let me let me think. Let me think. Who else could? Who else could move the needle like that? Wait. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. Uh, let me, wait, I'm, I'm thinking that. Let me think of somebody else could move a needle. Move the needle. Um. Ah. I got no it. one. Beyonce. If hypothetically speaking, if if she went with Jay Z, and I'm not Travis Kelsey. Let's say, um, <laughs> yeah, Beyonce. Beyonce, she not like this. She... Not like this. These, these, these yeah. eyes, these eye, Ocho, these eight to fifteen That's... year old eyeballs, what? Ocho. She the same, the same. Nah, Be had the Ocho. same, that same, that Ocho. same feeling. Ocho. Yes. I love Beyonce. Beyonce ain't moving the needle like this chick, Ocho. No, what? you no, tripping. you tripping, Ocho. This girl, this, ask the chat. She's the closest, Who, thing. The she's the closest thing to moving the needle like Michael Jackson that we've seen. This is it. Whoa. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Reel it back in a little bit, baby. Reel it back in a little bit. Beyonce moves the needle just like Taylor, if not no, more. No, she doesn't. Ask the chat, please. You can ask the chat. Ask, ask the, the chat. chat, please. We put it to the chat. So make, do, do a poll. <coughs> do a poll. Because Beyonce has those same set of eyes, young, old, middle age, and old. In, including I, but I'm just saying, not if like the, Taylor. If, hypothetically, hypothetically not speaking, like Beyonce would move the needle the same not way like Taylor, Taylor doing. It would be Beyonce being shown uh, all the time. Not yes. like Taylor. Oh, come on. Yes. Not like Taylor, man. Taylor Swift is, I oh. mean, she, she a different animal. And Beyonce is phenomenal. No. Beyonce is Beyonce is on another stratosphere. She I mean, those, those as, are the two. As, I as, mean, when it comes her, her her visibility, her visibility, she's not like out there like that the way Taylor is. What, how out much, there how much did they say like that. uh Taylor Swift uh 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 the revenue where she went? How much how many billions did she generate? Chat, chat, y'all help me out, man. Five somebody billion. Gotta, somebody gotta help all that now. Put it up. Hey, that's that's a good that's a good convo, right? That's a good topic right there. That's a good topic. Chat, y'all help me out. I, I, know, I, I, I gotta help you out. Because guess who they want? <laughs> guess I tell you what. Huh. Put them to the test. The NFL can have anybody do halftime. I guarantee you, Taylor Swift is first. Oh, Over Beyonce? Beyonce and Jay-Z and Rihanna combined. That's who they want. I ain't telling you what I heard. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. Nah. She turned them down. Now, I ain't telling you no hearsay. I'm telling you what I know. Mm. Stop playing, Ocho. Uh-uh. I don't like I know that. You, I, 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 Ocho, I just gave you the facts. I'm, hey. Just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts, ma'am. I got you. You're dragging that. I'm Joe Friday. <laughs> just the facts, ma'am. Hey, but you funny. 
Andre, you funny. I ain't buying that. Hey, Jay. Jay, I know you're going to see it in Jay. Text me phone no, real quick. Ocho, this is not about like or dislike. I'm saying who moved the oh, needle. No, I, know, I know you. I know you like her. I know, I know you. I'm not saying I ain't say that. I ain't say that. I know you like her. But you, you speaking uh, the fact, but I just, I'm I just went, telling, I I'm just to telling you how I, I feel. I feel, I feel Beyonce, if the position, if the roles were reversed and it was someone else, <coughs> hypothetically speaking. Does Beyonce move the needle be like Taylor Swift? 38% says yes. 62% says no. I went to see a Beyonce you know concert. I spent twelve thousand dollars, a, a six thousand a ticket, and this was in twenty. This was in twenty sixteen. Right. Matter of fact, is you know why I'm I'm pushing for Beyonce so hard too because I used to be a background dancer. I did some choreography for Beyonce. I did the chore choreography for Lemonade. Like I helped with that. I was the executive producer on Lemonade, so <laughs> I've been around and understand. No, no, you laugh. You never on the Lemonade stand, let alone been on the Lemonade tour. But okay, I get what you're saying. No, I help. I help with the choreography. What you talking about? I'm telling yeah. you, you seen me dance before, so I know how she moves the needle and how she affects people in dim different di different demographics. That's why I'm, I'm 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 pulling so hard for it. But I'm 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 listen. That that's a great topic. The I don't even how did we even get here? I tell you what. What did uh what did Beyonce movie do? What did Taylor Swift movie do? We 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 we're about to settle this. We're about to settle this because the ticket sales. We're about to settle this. I mean, we make it simple. Both of them, both Wait. of them filmed their tour, and not only right. so they got concert dollars, they went and put it right. in the movie theater. What did Taylor Swift? Right. Put it up. No, no, put it up. I don't know. No, I, I ask like uh, I don't want to do that. Put it up. Put it up. See y'all, 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 y'all talking about, oh, this is what I like, this is what I like. This is not about like. Oh, I love everybody. I I mean, I love everybody, but I understand and know what Beyonce can do. I know who Taylor Swift is. She's one of the greatest, but so is Beyonce. And I feel that be, I mean Beyonce. That's how many people went to see the movie. If given, yeah. Oh, the box office. Taylor Swift on her movie concert in the box office did 261.6 million. Beyonce did 44.4. Seven times. We might, we might, we might need to check the I'm numbers. I'm just telling oh. you, we actually checked them. Seven times. Oh, hold what, on, let what, me take what that source back. No, what, what, so, what source is ad? What source? What source did ad use? What source is ad use? You what pull source? it up. You pull it up. Wait, I ain't, I can't, I can't pull Hell it up. Hell pay my bill. Uh, my phone, my, my phone ain't working. Boxofficemojo.com. We going by my box office. Whatever the box office say. I don't know. I don't work at the box office. I'm not an AMC. I'm not in any of the theaters. I'm not an I pick. Nah, man. I'm yeah, you you hurt you hurt my feelings right now. And I know the chat on my side. But again, I like both of them. I don't I like both of them. I don't know any Taylor Swift songs. I'm sure she's a phenomenal person Taylor based Swift. on you know what, what people are seeing. People are tired okay. of seeing her. But I oh, work with Beyonce. Have, I've been a backup. Have we seen for have her. Be, let me and, ask you a question. Done, I ask you this. Have we ever have Beyonce yeah. ever been to an NFL game? Yes. Do they show her like they show Taylor Swift? That's because she's with Travis Kelsey. What? It does, Ocho, stop. Stop. You said Beyonce and Beyonce is unbelievable. I'm asking I when said, Beyonce is at the speaking, game. If, if Beyonce was dating a player, a player of Travis Kelsey's magnitude, then her face would be showed the exact same way. Yes, it would. What are we Ocho. doing? We talk about Beyonce. <coughs> you miss it. We talk. Wait a minute. Let me take my glass. We talk about Sasha Fierce. Huh? What are we doing? What are we talking about huh? here? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Come on. You now. do realize do when that. the tickets for Taylor Swift concert was released, it broke the site. It, it broke, broke the, the site. site. How much did her concert? What? How much did the concert pull up? Because they got they got a total in there. Facts at man, let me call. Let me call Jay Z real quick. Hey, he man. can't help you. Let me call Jay. Yeah, I you know this kind of rude. I don't let me call Jay, man, because I, I know I know what I'm talking about. Not when it comes to like, that, I, you don't. I, I, I... No, you don't. Not when it comes to that, Ocho. Topic, though. Not when it comes to that. That girl, that young lady's on a different. That lady's on a different. Uh, she she moves the needle, 
And I'm not saying Beyonce doesn't. Okay. If 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 she's a if Taylor Swift is Patrick Mahomes. So whomever else you want to make Beyonce, Taylor Swift right now is Patrick Mahomes. So whoever Beyonce is, she is. But she Mahomes. And if she So depending on the circumstance, sometimes <coughs> sometimes Taylor Swift errors will be Taylor Swift errors tour is the first in the history to gross over one billion dollars. Let me repeat that. Taylor Swift's era tour is the first right. tour in history to gross one billion dollars. So let me repeat that. Let me repeat be that because clearly you're not hearing say me. It, say it one more time. Taylor one more Swift's time. era time. tour is the first tour in history to gross one billion dollars. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let me hit you back with some facts real quick. Let me hit you back with some facts. Let me hit you back with some facts cuz I know I'm finna, I'm going to tell you right now. Hold on. Let me hit you with some facts. You ain't you ain't the only one. <clears throat> Beyoncé knows Renaissance World Tour pulled in <clears throat> Five hundred and ninety-seven billion, bro. Five hundred and ninety-seven million. That's not a billion. She's the first to do a billion. What don't you understand? A B is bigger than an M. Hold on, I wouldn't Go finish. Ahead. I wouldn't finish. Okay. Uh, it seems to me that the survey is right. You were right. Taylor Swift era tour is the highest grossing concert tour of all time, according to data. So you thought I just made Ocho? I've been Ocho. You think I just? You think I just be coming on here just, just making want, ish up? I just wanted to make sure your facts were right because I know people. Okay, I know people that work with Live Nation, and I just want to make sure what you were telling me was was Ocho. Was up to par. I'm telling you, I don't I don't have a dog okay. in the fight. I like both of them. Right. I think both of them are outstanding performers. I'm not, I don't yeah. care who yeah. can sing better. I don't care who has more Grammys. I'm not right. talking about any of that. I'm right. saying the reason why the NFL keeps showing her is because mm -hmm. they're talking about, I just read that this young lady can swing the election. Swing, the general swing, election whoa. in 2024. Swing, swing what? Swing who? Shit. Now, I like wait, we uh, come on now. I'm just telling you, Ocho. I'm just telling you. Don't get mad at me. Just the fact yeah, that's man. a good that's a, hey, listen. Oh, no, I'm not mad. L listen, I, I like both of them. I like both of them. I told I, I like I told you before, I, I, I work with Beyonce mm -hmm. on tour. I was a backup dancer back in the day in like 2015 <coughs> when I was retired and I, and I needed I needed a little pocket change. Uh, Taylor Swift is great in her own right. Uh, her music is not one that I listen to, but she is phenomenal yes. in all that she does because I can see it, I can see it from the outside looking in. So I, I have no no problem no issue with her. I I like the topic. I like the topic. And you you gave me you gave me and told me some stuff I didn't even know. I didn't, I didn't even know. So now I have a better Ocho. understanding on why she moves the needle she does and why she's always Ocho. shown. And uh, I never had a problem with it because I understood you, you know, do, who she is. Ocho. You know, and it's Travis Ocho. Kelsey. When I give you a test, I already have the answer. Yes, sir. Just know that moving right. forward, okay. if I give you a test, yes, sir. I've already got the answer. Mm -hmm. Right. But sometimes I'm never going to give you a test. I don't have something. answers to. Right. Sometimes when my mom used to tell me something, they say, boy, don't you touch that stove. You know, it's hot. You know what I'm going to go do? I'm going to go touch it because I want to find out for myself. So this is just 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 happened to be one of those moments where you telling me something. But I understand the greatness that is Beyonce. Oh, I Joe, understand the greatness. That is something here? that what? Yes, sir. Taylor Swift. After one single Instagram post by Taylor Swift. A record of more than 30,000 people signed up to vote through vote.org during National Register Day. Many of them teens who will be eligible to vote this fall's election. Mm. 
I I, I wonder who. I, that, they that, that, Ocho, I that's who they, that's not. I wonder who Ocho, they see, now you, no, 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 no. I said they oh. said she could swing okay. the election. They didn't say for who okay. against. Hey. I'm saying. Okay, okay, okay. She had thirty thousand registered to vote, right? Signed up when she posted on okay. IG. Right, right. I got you. I, I like it. I like it. I like it. Hey, listen. She has influence. She huh? has influence, and with that comes a big responsibility. Yeah. Oh, Joe. I like that. That's dope. It's what just like any celeb. When you've been to the game, they put you on the jumbo trial, yeah. didn't you? And you ain't dating, and you yeah, weren't dating be, no hey, six hey, player. Hey, that, you know, they, 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 the stay, mirror, they, they stay putting your boy on there too When now. she goes to the game, when celebs go to the game, they show, when LeBron right. goes to the game, what do they constantly do? Show him. When show Jay-Z's LeBron. at the game, yeah, what do they yeah. constantly do? Show him. Yeah, they they show that they show that's my dog. Yeah, that's my dog now. So people yeah. make it seem like when celebs come to events, they don't show them. Go mm-hmm. to Madison Square Garden. Go to the Laker game. Go to any game and see that they don't put the celebs up. So what's different? Okay, well wait, 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 wait. Now there's a difference in putting the celebs up and them always panning to you the entire game. Now there's a difference. Now I don't have a problem with it, but I love you know they 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 pan to her throughout the entirety yes, of the and game. and they're gonna continue now. to do it. Yeah, they love right, right, right. The right. happiest is the right, NFL. Rightfully so. I understand. I understand why. So you know, you don't have to yeah, explain we to do. me. It's just the people on Twitter. People on Twitter. Oh, they yes. hate it. But I, I can see the tweets. But I understand it. You got to think long term. Think money. Think money. You'll get the whole NFL. Point. NFL said, "This is a different mm-hmm. set of eyes. This is a new revenue stream." They yeah. got you yeah. see all them girls going to the game. What what did they go overseas in London? Mm-hmm. What did what did what did they play? Did they play in Germany? They played in Germany. Did you see all them little girls that came to the game? Mm-hmm. Did, I, yeah. did she go to Germany? Yeah. Was it? She didn't go to Germany. She went to New York, right? She went to the Jets game. And you see all them little girls screaming. They're watching the game. They mm-hmm. got their mom and daddy taking them mm-hmm. to the game. That would have never gone to the game. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know nothing about no damn. They know football. Taylor Swift like football, so they like football. <laughs> That's what they know. Taylor Swift like football. Influence. They don't even know who Travis Kelsey is. They know Taylor Swift. Yeah. And if Taylor, if if Taylor mm-hmm. Swift like it, mommy, we like it too. Mm-hmm. And so guess what? To keep the kids happy, parents yeah. buy tickets. Parents buy concert tickets to go see her. Mm. That's who you gotta get. The kids, because you yeah. what? I want to keep the kids happy. But you got to. I didn't see oh Joe, I did not see this coming. I did not see this coming. Cause I wait, what? I didn't see the Chiefs getting to the Super Bowl given how poorly they played. Oh, they played (laughs) during the regular season. It it was bad. It was atrocious. It was atrocious. Listen, I I talked you and I talked about it multiple times. I had a one about it multiple times. And I I said it constantly, as great as Mahomes is, there is no way he's able to overcome the way the offense I agree. The drops, the, the drops, were, it, 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 was, yeah. it was ridiculous. And it was he ridiculous. was playing bad. Let's not excuse yeah. him because look at all the yeah, yeah, yeah. interceptions that he had. And yeah. he didn't throw 30, he didn't throw 30 touchdowns. This is the, I think this is the first year in his career in which he's been a fool, that mm-hmm. he didn't miss any game. I mean, saw that last game. Mm-hmm. Did he have 30 touchdown mm-hmm. passes? I don't think he had 30 touchdown passes. You, you know what's funny when I think about it? When they always say, you know, the NFL is, is not a sprint, yes. it's a marathon. This is exactly what they mean based on what the Chiefs were able to do this year, this season. Because during that, during that, the beginning of their race, yeah. oh, right. it was bad. Oh, uh, yeah. Even at the it end, remember the bad. Raiders? How the, the Broncos looked, beat the brakes off them. The Raiders beat the brakes off them. Look, look bad. But when it mattered most, what does greatness do? When you put when you put them Pillsbury, when you put them Pillsbury croissants in the oven they on 350. Huh? Come on. What, you what heat they them do? up, they, they rise. You know what they do now. Bro, they, they coming. Hold up. They coming. Huh? Hey, like, like you had yeah. with the blue oh, diamond. Yeah. Hey, man. Hey, oh, Ocho. But that thing, I put with them diamond. You talking about, oh, Ocho. Man, that thing be so, that thing be so, hey. That thing like that right there, Ocho, be hard, boy. It take a hey, it take an MIT math professor to figure it out. That thing be harder than Chinese math. I had to get an MIT math professor to try to figure out what was going on. He said, "I can't help you, son. I can't help you." 
Man, Ocho, I'm telling you. Ocho, you know, you and I was just talking about uh about Taylor Swift. You got my stomach hurt. You got my stomach hurt, man. <laughs> Ocho. <coughs> Okay, let me get back. I right said, here. as focus, far as focus. touring, as far as worldwide reach, I said Taylor Swift right. might be the closest thing to Michael. I specifically said right. she's not Michael. I said, but she might right. be the closest thing to him. Right. Oh, people, people, Pe- no, 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 people don't said? listen. People hear what they want to hear. Okay. It's like when you and I was talking, we were talking about you asked the question, do I think Detroit could beat the 49ers? I say, yes, I believe they can beat them because the turnovers come into play. An injury happens. They jump in the chat. Right. Well, you didn't pick them. The question wasn't to pick them. The Ocho asked me, do I think the Lions could win? Right. I say, yes, mm-hmm. on a given Sunday, anything can happen. But I'm picking the 49ers because people yeah. don't listen. See, people, let me tell you what happened, Ocho. People listen to respond. They don't listen to understand. Mm-hmm. And therein lies understand, the problem. Yeah. Because you want to respond to what was said, you didn't listen to what was asked. Mm. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? Man, I would I would I would listen to you. I would hype because I'm I'm trying to see. I'm I'm assuming that people in the chat there's they're trying to say that you are saying that Taylor Swift is equivalent or better yes. than yes. Michael Jackson. But they you gotta listen. They don't, but they don't you, want you gotta to listen. Because, listen oh, Joe, what you listen, fail to realize to the way it's worded. They they hear what oh, they want to hear. As you get further along in this business, people will yes, listen sir. to everything you say, trying to get you to right. slip up. That's what mm. some people wake up hoping they can catch somebody mm. in this business, somebody slipping up to say right. something. So that's their claim right, right, to right. fame. This is what it say. That's what they're looking for. Just like the look, and I understand the proper roster. Now they got things want to catch somebody in a, in a, a situation, but there are a lot of people mm. on social media. All they're looking for right. is to try to catch someone up. But I know exactly what I said. I'm ready for that. I I, I know exactly yeah. what you said too. I know. Exactly Listen, what you said. I've never and, met and, Taylor I'm, Swift. I'm, I at least can say I've met Beyonce on several occasions. As a matter of fact, LeBron James had an event uh, about a month ago. I met her and Jay-Z. Walked right up the hall and talked to him, had a great conversation, introduced myself to her. But that's not the first time that I met her. So this notion, oh, yeah. it ain't about like dumb dumbs. Do y'all listen to what the discussion yeah, yeah. was? Right. Open your, they open your want ears. To, they want to catch, they want to catch him ears. up. Well, he said this. That's what he said. No, I didn't. Right. It's not about Grammys. It's not about who's the better performer. It's not about who has the better voice. Ocho and I was having a discussion about reach gotcha. and why they keep showing her. But y'all mm-hmm. want to take it somewhere else mm-hmm. because here's the thing. And, and but look, it's the same way because when I watch Serena play a white that's not a not, that's a non-American, even the Americans would be rooting for the non-American, because they're with the same complexion. Mm. So what they want right, us right. to do, anytime it's white versus black, whether it's right or wrong, mm. they want you to side with the black. This is not about mm. black or white. This is about, right. based on what I've read and based on what I've deduced, is that mm. right now Taylor Swift is a bigger brand. That's just based on mm. what I've deduced. But y'all want right. to make it, it, everything is black or white. If I criticize mm. Lamar, Oh, you a hater, you Uncle Tom. But it's only Lamar, because when I criticize Justin Fields, I don't get that. I don't get that when I get Dak. I don't get that when I get Patrick Mahomes. I don't get that with any other quarterback other than Lamar. Lamar, it doesn't right. matter. Oh, Zay, Zay fumbled the ball. Okay, Lamar Jackson fumbled the ball and threw an interception. So you're going to put all the all the fault on, on, on Zay Flowers? Oh, Todd Munkin sold the game. Okay, so now, see, no matter what happens, if Lamar plays good, They've never mentioned Todd Munkin. They've never mentioned Greg Roman. Remember, Greg Roman helped him win an MVP unanimously. They never gave him credit, only blame. Now Todd Munkin, they didn't even know who Todd Munkin was. But now everybody knows who Todd Munkin is because the season didn't end the way they wanted it to. So now let's blame him. Right. Come on, people. We got to do better than this. <laughs> We've got to do better. We've got to. It's all love, chat. It's all love. That's it. It's all love. Hold on. I got to get something. 
but people ask what advice would I have to say, look, that's textbook taunting. Even before they added and they put the emphasis on the taunting, what Zay Flowers did when he caught that big catch and run was taunting. He dropped the ball damn near on in the guy's chest and stood up over him. Come on, guys. Ocho, you know what Zay Flowers did on that big catch and run is textbook taunting. You can't you can't drop the ball. You, he yeah, dropped you can't. the ball damn near on the guy yeah. and just stood up over him. Yeah. Stood up over him. Yeah, you can you can't you can't do that. I mean, he he gonna learn th- Zay gonna learn from that. Zay gonna learn from that. If I was, if I was, if if I was on the team, I would pull him aside and say, young fella, we just gotta learn from those mistakes. Yeah, you that's know, just one. And it only take one time though. It oh, only take one time to make that mistake and it won't happen again the rest of his career. When I was in Denver, before yes, every so. playoff game, you know what I told the guys? Don't you uh-huh. be the one. Don't you be the one to get the penalty. Don't you be the right. one that everybody looking around and said it was you. Mm-hmm. Don't be yeah. that guy. Right. Don't be that guy. Because no matter mm-hmm. what happens, they're going to go back to that moment and say that was the play. Right. But I'll put my arm around him just like OBJ did. Mm-hmm. Say, fella, he had an mm-hmm. unbelievable season. You're going to be great in this league. That's that he is. That's not a death sentence. What you did, what happened today. Mm-hmm. Make that a footnote. No. Let everybody else say, hey, Zay Flowers, five time pro bowler, <laughs> all pro. Let mm-hmm. them let the last thing that they get to, yeah. oh, he wants fumble mm-hmm. the ball in the AFC championship game. Let that be the footnote. Let mm-hmm. the story be what Zay Flowers became. Mm-hmm. But again, you, you got to understand you, you, the enthusiasm, the fun, the adrenaline rush, the, the the making of a big play, you know, young, young dude, you know. So you got to understand in the moment, caught in the moment, making a play like that. Mistakes no, Ocho, happen. Mistakes like Ocho, that a, mistake is le- a, o- a mistake is leaving your briefcase in a rental car or leaving your iPad in the back of a seat plane. To drop the ball on somebody and stand up over them is not a mistake. That's a decision. That's a choice. That's that. That's one that we all no. Do. We no ain't no. We all me. made on the field. You ain't. No. You ain't never do that. I ain't standing up over nobody. You, but did I get the first down? And I. But I made sure I didn't give the first down on this. So you ain't. Oh, uh, not. You ain't. You ain't never got no, no taunt. No, no taunt penalty. Never. You know what? I, I mean, yes. Yeah, so I'm. I'm oh, Ocho, oh, you yeah. know good well. You yeah. catch a pass. You can't mm-hmm. stand up over the guy. Now you know that. Yeah, that's yeah, textbook yeah, you're right, taunting. You right. You're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I was I was just trying to find a little reason for my dog to get up out of that. Ocho, it's done happen. Now, what are you gonna do about it? <coughs> he ain't gonna do it no more. He ain't gonna do it no more. He ain't gonna do it no more. You know, it'll only take one time. It'll only take one OBJ time. couldn't have done it better. Because he no he's down at this yeah. moment. He got a taunting penalty that yeah. backed him up and and mm-hmm. he fumbled the ball. Ball out. Yeah. That was yeah. Actually it was on the same drive. Wasn't it? It was on the same drive, Ocho. He hey. He was trying to he was trying to get yeah. in that end zone, boy. You can't but, fault him though. He was trying to get but, in there. He wanted what did that. What you see last week? Remember Nicole Harmon tried to get the ball in there? What'd he do? Got punched out, went yeah. out of bounds, lost the ball. Went out of bounds and went you gave the ball to, to the, to the bill. Situational football. Understand the situation. Yeah. Understand the moment. Mm-hmm. Understand the time of the mm-hmm. game. Right. And you know what's funny? You know what hurt though? That's people trying to make plays. Too. Yeah. That's that's fellas trying to make plays for their team and it's going the wrong way. So it's it's like hard. What do you want to say? Hey, you want to fault him and tell him, you know what? Don't even try that hard. No, Just oh, go oh, down. you gotta I mean, be oh, what, oh, what do you what do you say? What do you, you say in be that smart moment? in that situation? Coach Belichick, didn't Coach Belichick tell y'all not to stretch the ball at the goal line? Because it's too risky. Yeah. You have to un- Ocho, I get it. But okay, the enthusiasm, but what did it get you? Mm-hmm. Right, you're right. You're right. OBJ handled it perfectly as the veteran guy. Put his arm around mm-hmm. him. His head is down. He knows everybody's talking about that play. He knows everybody's talking about the Tawny. Played an unbelievable game yeah. in your first AFC Championship game. You go over Hundy. Mm-hmm. You put it over a Hundy and a tub, bro. They've been looking for you. In Baltimore, since ba- I mean, you got to go back to Thriller, rest your soul. They had a guy named Michael Jackson. You got to go way back, or you got to go to Derek Mason before you go to go get a, a receiver 
that they had this much hype about. He has a chance to be the best receiver in Ravens history. That's how good this kid can be. Yeah. But I'm not going to let this nice define game. me. Y'all going to define me by something else. I promise mm -hmm. you. Thousand yard season, Pro Bowl, All Pro. And when I get back, I'm gonna, and I'm going to get back in this situation. I believe in Lamar. I believe in this team. I believe in this offense. When I get back in this situation, you'll see what I do. If they can get by the Bengals, but I hear you. Lamar healthy on the Bengals. Ah, you want you want to put, you hey, want to put whatever money you want to. I got you Lamar. Put some money. Make it light on you. Make it light. Make it light on yourself. Well, we got. Make it light on well, yourself. We got to tell you what. We got five hundred every time they play. <laughs> five hundred what? Five hundred dollars every time they play. We got five hundred okay. on it. Okay. I ain't never. That's yeah, a but chain, I, I, I take I all that. that. At the I end of the year, that's a thousand. Bet. Let me see what I can buy for a thousand. So you going so are you gonna you gonna owe I, me I'm a trying thousand. to think what I can get for a thousand dollars. Hey, what can I get? What can sh uh, get for a thousand dollars? Because I'm gonna have a thousand at the end of the year from you. I bet you won't. That's at least that's 13 diamonds. So you you sitting here, you sitting here really thinking the Ravens gonna beat the Bengals next year with a healthy That's 13 girl, diamonds I can get Ocho. 12. <laughs> yeah, that, Wait, that's how much they cost. Long, Peel. Eighty dollars, hundred dollars a pill, yeah. Oh hell, boy! Listen, I be I be walking around. No, oh, no, oh no! Hey, hey, hey! Uh, you eighty dollars? Nah, 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 you want me to talk to Eric Dickerson? That's the only ED I want. That's uh -huh. the only ED I know. And I don't know nothing about no other ED. You talking about Eric Dickerson? <laughs> you lying to me? Huh. <laughs> no, I'm talking about that. that you know yeah, that know commercial that exactly come on during the NFL game. Yeah, oh, no. I ain't paying. Who paying? Who paying eighty dollars for a guy that's trying to get a mean one? A guy that's trying to get mama a mean one? Never, ne never that. Mom, 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 mama. Hey, you know, she else. ain't gonna get no, 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 not stay in my house. I ain't got no problem with her going to get somewhere, but she ain't finna be laying next to me and somebody else giving her putting me up. Excuse me, and do it, do it with that man. You about to, <laughs> man? Oh, show you about to baby forget? I'm on. I'm on. The, I'm, on I'm in a chat, man. I'm about to start talking like I'm at the barbershop, man. Please. Hey, my man, no. that, that ain't about to happen to listen, me. That's why. That's why. The, that's why the people here. Listen, unk, you know how I am when it comes to money, man. You ain't who paying eighty dollars for a goddamn pill just to do something that's gonna that's last okay. two minutes. That that's make two no minutes long, man. Hey, ain't nothing like that excitement. You ride the roller coaster, and when you were the kid got on the merry go round, all they did was do 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 ride around. Yeah, had a thrill of your life. But them two minutes, nah, you man. get the right one, nah, nah. As a it matter of fact, it ain't happening. It ain't, you it, can't even get the wrong. It ain't that's, worth that's it. Up. You know what? Ain't no such thing as no bad sex. If there anything is bad, they're bad 80, sex. Eighty dollar. Yeah, you you remember growing up and you you been with somebody who ain't had no goddamn rhythm. And they throw everything off. Yeah. Yes, there there is bad. Yeah, there is bad. I'm talking about bad. But I just thought like, that, what, that's what, what, what that's is, what, that's what, 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 hey, that's what you say. Let me leave. Don't know. Hey, that's what I say. Right. That's what I say. Don't yeah. nobody move but me. Hey, you ever you ever seen somebody on a dance floor? And you'd be like, where the hell is your <laughs> rhythm? That happens. That happens horizontally <laughs> all the time. Well, I can't. But, it, hey, I but it, eight, it's hard. Only, it's only been, only been hey, with eight people. But, but, I mean, but if you on all four, you can't mess up on all fours. Don't nobody move. <laughs> I don't want nobody move with me. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, Ocho. Uh-uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. hey, how, how did we I don't know how we got That's you. <laughs> Tell me you didn't want to pay no money. Me? Oh no! Nah. Oh, we went from we went from five hundred dollars. Oh, you talk about yeah, the okay, down. My bad, my down bad. bad. Wait, what, what, what the price is? Like, Look the price up right quick. Eighty dollars, fish man. I'm I'm good. I don't care. I don't care. They call five hundred. I'm good. I, I'm good. I ain't. But... They Shh. laugh. Listen, I don't even pay my own. I don't even pay my own bills on time. You think I'm paying eighty dollars hey. for a pill that's supposed to help yeah. me in the bedroom? Child, please. It ain't happening. Hey. It ain't happening, Captain. Ninety dollars, ninety dollars per pill. Ninety. Hey, <laughs> that thousand dollars, that thousand dollars, I get me nine pills. You know, nine pills. You know, like uh, eleven. Yeah, I listen. get eleven. Eleven pills. Nine hundred ninety dollars. Keep the change. You, you, you not, you're not gonna get it from me because the bank hey, ain't losing hey, to the Ravens next year. And hey, you know, Ocho, I go to the. They tell me you want to put it in the bag. Yeah, I want you to put it in the bag. You want me to walk out of here with it in my hand so everybody can see what the f I got? Yeah, put it in the bag. And why you talking? Listen, what you had for? What you had for? Buy, buy, buy it with pride. Now they don't need to know. Hey, hey 
People talk too bad. Hey, pride. I saw Shannon Sharp at CVS. He had them. He had them. He had some. Yeah, mind your business. <laughs> man, you better put them in a bag. As a matter of fact, put them in a bag in another bag. As a matter of fact, Ocho, <laughs> I buy stuff I don't even need. Hey, you know what? Can I get some mu snacks and uh, let me get a <laughs> let me, I got my three things, so they don't even know. Just buy, yeah. extra, just buy I extra stuff, stuff just to have, huh? I got music in there from Listen. 2020. Listen, my grandma always said, if you got the hat, it, you don't need no, to buy hide it. it. People if don't, you, you got you, the hat, uh, you don't need to buy you, it. You don't need to know. Tell about Mr. Sharp, would you like mm. Shh. Stop calling my name. <laughs> Damn wrong with you. Um, Shannon Sharp. <laughs> Man, don't call my name. Your order. Oh, tell about you. Your script ready for pickup. <laughs> looking around like, hey. Hell no. Nah. But that, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> you bad? Man, you bad. The people be crazy, man. Why you call it? Man, y'all know me. Y'all done seen me that many times, and I done picked up medicine. I had both hips repaired. I done had, you know, I had a, a I get hives. So y'all know me. Y'all ain't got to yeah. call my name. Y'all, all y'all got to do is, sorry, you oh, your order, your prescription is ready. That's all y'all got to say. Y'all ain't got to call is my it? name. And they're going to talk about you. In effect, $90, yeah. man. Like, like who, like who on, on earth in their right mind would the pay The government, how much, Think look up and see it. how much the military spent on Viagra. The military is the biggest, is the biggest spend of it. The military, because guess what? Me, they ain't, they ain't got no business. To do, they, ain't, they ain't got no business to be doing anything horizontal. They supposed to be focused they, on war. They, they ain't fighting every day. <laughs> I'm thinking about war. I'm going. I'm going into battle. That's why I put it in my system. I put it in my system. I'm going into battle. <laughs> yeah, we are. Huh? Beyond spends on the Pentagon spends eighty-four million dollars annually on Viagra. Oh, the Pentagon. What the Fifth Department. Got that's what that's, for, that's the for the military. Oh, they ain't even talking about Cialis. Cialis might be better. It don't cause the headache. And it lasts about two, three days. I don't know. I heard, though. I was reading about it. I don't know. I've been hey, reading on the internet. You, I don't know, know, you, you, you sound, you, yeah, listen, be, oh, yeah, you sound very well informed. Reading. You Nah, you sound very well informed. You use that, too? Okay. They spend two hundred and ninety-four million on ED drugs, condoms, Levitra. Oh, Levitra, yeah, yeah. I don't know, Levitra. I heard Levitra don't work that well. That sounds like a drink. <laughs> yeah, I heard Levitra. They don't. They don't really work that well. Listen, I, I don't know, Ocho. I, I just heard I, that. That's what somebody was telling me. This dude, I was talking to this dude. I, don't know. I talked to this dude about three, four years ago. His name was Shannon. Yeah, his shot. name was Shannon. He said, man, man, I, if I was you, I wouldn't get that. I was like, all right. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that. I ain't number 30. I ain't number 30. I'm young. I ain't, I ain't got no problem. I'll holler at you hey, in 30 years. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you was, hey, let me ask you a question. You was fast, but you still worked on your speed in the offseason, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, oh, how dare you? I you like did, that. did you? I like that. I like <laughs> okay. that. Okay. Like that. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's smooth. That's smooth. Yeah. That's smooth. That's smooth. That's smooth. <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I'm sorry, baby. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know that guy. I don't know the guy, man. They be talking about that. Uh, the uh, diamonds. That uh, Levitra. That yeah. Cialis. Mm. Yeah, man. But they say they say that that Viagra you can't eat. Like you got to have an empty stomach because you know you want everything to you know. You know, go to that area, right? But with right, that Seattle, right, you right, eat, you right. go out to eat, go to dinner. As soon as right. that thing, as soon as that thing, oh, you know, you about to go home, right? Yeah, I had all this. Oh, get it, you get you take it early, get it in your system. You need thirty minutes, thirty forty five. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Okay. I'm, I see. I'm not. Please there take yet. medication as directed. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not there yet. I'm. I'm not there yet. But when, yeah, it, when that yeah, time comes, I, I, uh, I mean, I'm gonna do my homework. And it, you know, it comes with side effects. As you know, if you have an erection that lasts longer than four hours, right? right. Call you know, you call go medical. To the you gotta go to the doctor. <laughs> I'm gonna call about four or five other people. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna call. <laughs> you talking about call the doctor? Well, the doctor better be named Karen. It better be named Queena. 
Her name better be Susan. Her name better be uh, uh, Tatiana. Her name need to be <laughs> Valerie. That's who my doctor better be. <laughs> if I have an erection hey. for four hours, oh, I, oh, I got you a gonna get that four, you gonna, hey, you're gonna get you gonna you gonna get that yeah. four hours worth of patty, huh? It'll go down. <laughs> hey man, you shot out. That just that would I'm gonna do. Where you feel? Well, you feel you feeling good today, boy. You feeling you feeling good tonight, now. You feeling good tonight. Oh, Joe. You said you you said uh, you said you want you wanted the dumb dumb award to be a daily thing, so we got it back. Time for our daily dumb dumb segment. What we got? L. Hunt says twenty years in the military. We eat them. It's like Skittles, even if we don't need them. Go hard or go home. You see what I'm saying? Serious? He in the military for 20 years. Yeah, hey. man. Yeah, Ocho. You don't know. Well, that thing, but the, the more it's you know. Invincible. That's why I like, see, I'm I'm learning about stuff <laughs> I ain't even have no clue about. Ocho, you invincible. I'm just telling you, invincible. Like, hey, can't nobody take my pride. Can't nobody hold me back. <laughs> right. Hey, like Walker, I go hard in the mofo pay. What they thinking? <laughs> hey, they might want to start calling you boy first 48 because I go be a crime scene. Yeah. Chalk it up. <laughs> oh, y'all, I'll leave. <laughs> Chalk it up, Ojo. It's a crime scene. They first 48. <laughs> Rail, where you at, Rail? <laughs> Man. Ocho, time for the daily dum dum award. And it Who and it goes up? to your guy, Kadarius Tony. This morning he went on IG Live and rant and accused the team of lying about his injury. For the third time these playoffs, Kadarius Tony has been ruled inactive. I told you. I tried to tell you, Ocho, but you won't listen to me. I told you he wasn't done. I told you. I told you. I told you. Wait, what 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 you mean he wasn't done? What, what what happened? He's talking about they lying. He said he not injured mm -hmm. because they won't play him. They trying to increase their chances mm -hmm. of winning. So by increasing their chances of winning, they deact they uh, uh made him inactive. Mm. Man, you can't damn that's that's messed up, man, to play with a man top like that. I mean, if if anything, why not just be honest with it? If you don't want to play him, tell him we're not playing you. We're going to deactivate you. You're a healthy scratch, but don't be lying to the public. And the, tell the, the public, public, the public that is fine. The public is fine. You. you should have thought about that before you started dropping all them passes. You should have thought about that before you lying your ass up offside. You ain't going. You ain't going no Twitter with no rant then. When you was doing all that, so when was the time he went on the rant about that? Right. Damn, I, I ain't know. I ain't know that happened. I ain't yeah, even see I saw that. it. Damn. There's Fuck, a good man. chance he won't be playing in Kansas City next year. Man, I, I like like K. I like KT too, man. That boy a dog. They, they he he gonna get right though. I'm gonna I'm gonna. I think it's gonna be for somebody else though. Right. I'm gonna get him right. Yeah, yeah, I'm I know. Right. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him right. Once once he get that confidence back, boy, it's a wrap. Why right? you hear me? All them diamonds on me. <laughs> <laughs> During the season, KT. During the season, KT. I know you're gonna see this, baby. Holla at your boy, baby. I'm gonna get you right, baby. Come holla at me. He caught 27 passes and dropped fives. There were six games in which he recorded one reception or less. So why am I playing? What? Why am I active? Why? I mean, in six games, he caught one pass or no passes. So what? What about what am I playing in for? So what am I missing, Ocho? Tell me what I'm missing. I mean, you know. You're not you're not missing anything. I mean, obviously you have to have the trust of your quarterback to get the opportunities to come your way. And um, I'm I'm assuming you know based on what we've seen throughout the season, the the, the trust you know uh, in him as far as coming from Mahomes, it wasn't there. Oh, you so, keep, there's some things. I gotta go to the bathroom. Chat, I'm 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 taking over right now. Uh, Kadarius, Kadarius, Tony, I know you're gonna see this. You're gonna be all right. You're gonna be all right. Back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board. If they they want to play with the top, you already know what you you know what you need to do. 
You know what you need to do. Back to the drawing board. Come back next year, wherever you end up, handle your business. Pick up where you left off at. You know what you could do. I know what you could do. I seen you play. I seen you play at the highest level, baby. Especially when you got confidence. Chat, how y'all feeling? Real, where you at? Real, I know you. Real, you, you on the plane? You watching on the plane? Chat. Y'all on my side? I love y'all. I love you. Make sure you uh, hit the hit the subscribe button, please. I don't ever ask you for nothing, and I don't ask you for much. Damn, man, Kadarius, man, he just my dog need a fresh start. That's all. That's all it is. It be like that sometimes. You know, the league is very unforgiving, very unforgiving. It's what what have you done for me lately? And if you ain't really done nothing, they treat you like my like like. Like my, my my relationship back in in uh in 1987, I had a girl named Elizabeth. She left me for Tony, a dude named Tony. I never forget. She told me I hadn't done nothing for her lately. She she put me on the on the inactive list. I wonder how she doing. Chat, where the chat at? I can't. Oh, hold on. Now I can see the chat. Chat, what they do? What they do? Hey, can y'all see me? Hey, um, but we having a we having a good time. Who sent them rolls? Them milk on the table. Chat, no, nah, they yours. Can you see me? Man, George wasn't eat with him. The lie when he hungry. Big Joker, he'll know he'll tell a lie. It's his birthday. He done order some cinnamon rolls on the ball. You are lying. <laughs> He, he yeah, won't be. Follow, he follow won't my, be there for what? I almost bit. I almost bit. Took a bite out of it and turned it the other way, so you wouldn't. You wouldn't notice until he got home, man. Man, man, these people don't sit over a, a sit over a roll. Me and the, me and the chat was vibing just 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 now. The Chiefs made Tony. Like uh, they listed him as as active the final three games uh, of the regular season as well as their uh, three playoff games. Remember, he got that interception, and Mahomes Mahal went to the bench and said, God, you remember that, Ocho? He threw him that ball. You yeah, lost $100 because yeah. you said, oh, I bet you he won't have no drop. And uh, I said, oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it, 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 it's, it's, it's part of the game. It just it happens at, at a, it happened at a You can't drop time. a pass every game and talk about it happens, Ocho. You can't drop you interception every game. No, Ocho, you can't, Ocho. Now, don't do that to the fans. Hey, listen. Don't make the thing. And I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 okay. I ain't, ain't going to do that to the fans. I ain't going to do that to the fans. I'm, I'm, I can only speak okay. for myself. I can't speak for anybody else. But I remember I had a stretch in my prime where I dropped one ball a game for 16 weeks straight. Pull it up. What's the I most fast Ocho drop in the up. season? Yeah, I, I know. I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> I made that up. Hey, Rail. Rail say she watching on the flight. She on the plane watching us. Hey, Rail. Hey, Rail. That, uh, Turn up. Uh, send us some. Send us. Send us some money. Uh, send us some money from thirty thousand feet Asador up. Asador D asks Uncle Ocho. I asked you guys a few weeks ago about Lamar's criticism of him possibly winning another MVP and not making winning the Super Bowl. How much blame does he deserve now? For after he deserves some blame. He deserves the lion's share of the blame because he's gonna get the lion's share of the credit when they win. He's going to win the MVP. Lamar Jackson had a fumble. And he turned the ball over. And he did not play well today. It's okay to mm. say Lamar did not play well today because he didn't. And it's not hate. It's not jealousy. It's not anything other than Lamar Jackson did not play well enough for the Ravens to win today. The defense gave yeah. up 17 points. 17 yeah. What what did the Ravens average this year? How many what how many points? Where did uh as far as uh, scoring average? They were the number one rush team. I thought it might have been uh maybe thirteen. No I no might no. Be they gave, they averaged giving up sixteen points. The Ravens de uh, the Ravens uh, defense oh, averaged giving up sixteen oh, points. 16? I think about sixteen points 16? again in the regular season, Ocho. In the regular season, because yeah. I think Kansas City was okay, second okay. or second with like seventeen and a half, eighteen. Mm -hmm. But the Ravens averaged. No scored. How many off points? The Ravens was fourth in scoring at twenty eight point four points a game. 
they got 10. Mm. Yeah. They got 10. Yeah. It's not that, that, that playoffs where it matters most, where those numbers from the regular season really don't matter. No, but that's what I'm saying. That it really, it really, don't, it really <laughs> don't matter. And when you look at you look at uh and they stopped them on fourth down, turned them over on down. The defense mm-hmm. didn't allow any points. The turnover, yep. the the defense pitched a shutout. Everybody's saying, excuse me, I'm getting so excited. Everybody's saying the defense oh played. Mm-hmm. Hold on. The defense pitched a shutout in the second half. The defense gave up 60 yards in the second half. And y'all fought in the mm-hmm. defense? So y'all just y'all just gonna just y'all just gonna just like not well, no, we're not gonna criticize Lamar. Lamar can do no wrong in our eyes. The defense gave up 60 yards in the second half, zero points. Mm-hmm. And y'all not gonna give yeah. Lamar any blame for that fumble, for those overthrows, for that uh, uh interception, that horrible interception. Y'all so y'all just gonna just obfuscate all blame. And y'all gonna get at the Todd Munkin, y'all gonna place it on Z- Zay Flowers and say the defense didn't play well. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Lamar Lamar gets his his uh his share it's of blame. O- Ocho, share it's of blame. okay to say Lamar didn't play well today. He didn't. Yeah. And anybody that got eyes, anybody that watched the game of football, even if you're the most mm-hmm. diehard of Raven fans, can honestly say Lamar Jackson didn't play well today. And that's okay to say. Right. He's gonna win the MVP because he earned it. That doesn't mean that he shouldn't be your favorite player, but he didn't play well today. Right. There's no ifs and the buts. There's no way around it. He didn't play well, mm-hmm. and they lost because of it. I mean, what what what, what, I, what I, else I needs to be saying? I think they understand. I mean, I don't think anybody in the chat would really argue. My bad, please. I mean, we all what we they they all watch. The, they argue. Of they argue in the fact. Oh shit! Big look, dang Ocho is like. When a player is your favorite player and he doesn't have the game that you expect in the moment that you expect him to play because you've seen outstanding performances from him all year. You saw what he did when he went to San Fran. Mm-hmm. They beat the blew the Lions out. They blew the Dolphins out. Yeah. They blew the 49ers out. They blew Seattle out when Seattle was playing well. They were they beat mm-hmm. 10 or 11 teams. That had over two games over that was over five hundred. They beat three or four teams, five teams that won at least ten games. Beat the beat the Houston Texans, won at ten games. Beat the 49ers, ten games. Beat Miami, ten games. Beat the Lions, ten games. Beat a lot of teams, but today he didn't play well when he needed to play yeah. well, and that's what it comes right. down to. Ocho, I remember when I was growing up and, and, and uh, we used to sit around and be watching the game. And you know how a team score mm-hmm. a bunch of points. And what's the first thing you say? You better save some of that for next week. Save some yeah. of them points for next week. A guy score. Hey, save yeah. some of them for tomorrow. Lamar didn't play well. The offense didn't play well. But the offense is spearheaded by Lamar. So as he goes, the offense goes. And he was, oh, he was never yeah. able to get a rhythm. I think it really shocked them (coughs) with the ease in which Kansas City went down the field and scored those first two touchdowns because nobody expected that. They got the ball first two drives, go down and get 14 points. I I, 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 I ain't thinking that. In general, defense in general alone. I forget forget what the offense is going to do. Obviously, as great as Lamar has been throughout the throughout the regular season, I was like, "Well, shit, ain't no way, ain't no way in hell they're going to go up and down the mm-hmm. field on that Ravens defense." And lo and behold, what exactly did they go and do? It wasn't a high no, score. No, I'm just saying. But the Ravens when, defense, yeah, when the, when the moments when the when the moments mattered most. I mean, think about how many three and outs the they needed that the, the 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 Ravens forced in the second half. The defense, right, right. Can you imagine if, if some of those three and outs could have turned into points, whether it be three, whether it be seven? Yes. Seven, yes. That, game, game, game yes. Would have been different. Lamar scored game three points in the second half. He had seven in the first game half. They scored different. 10 points. They averaged 28. Yeah. So they got 18 the under game. what they normally get. Mm-hmm. And yeah. we don't think he deserves any blame, a little bit of blame, like, like this much blame. 
Spagnuolo calling a goddamn phenomenal game, a phenomenal defensive game, phenomenal. Oh yeah, because he had he had he had me rattled too. I'm like, what in the hell? Oh, you just gonna sit here and bliss like that? Like you don't got a, a care in and, the world? And what you call him? And uh, and give Lejerry uh, Sneed credit. Oh yeah, hey boy, that boy because he beat boy, on he the play. Hit. He's like, I ain't giving up. Who? Yeah. Uh, he he he's been hell. I don't know why he didn't make the Pro Bowl because he travels. He takes the best. He takes the best receiver and he does an outstanding mm-hmm. job. Standing job. Yep. He got fooled. Now I don't know why he took that rail. I don't know why he took the over when he saw the guy going. And you got a safety in the hole. You got to stay back side. You got to stay yeah. in deep third. And he mm-hmm. let Zay Flowers get up and get up the rail on it. But he give him credit. He fought. He still. Hey, he didn't let him get into the end zone. But yeah. I mean, I, I think the thing well, is, if you're a Ravens fan, you just like the missed opportunities because you saw how well you yeah. played. You saw how well you played against team. Uh, the two teams mm-hmm. that's in the AF, NFC Championship, you blew the doors off both of them. Mm-hmm. Both of them. And you saw how well you played last week against the Houston Texans. Now, it took you a while to get out, but the second half, get, you stepped on the more. gas. Yeah. But – yeah, it was a situation. Um, Ridge Boyd said Lamar is James Harden. Well, he's just got to get away. To, he's got to find a way to get over the hump, Ocho. It's really as simple as that because he's going to be – you got the MVP, and there's a chance he can get more, but he's got to get to mm-hmm. it and win a Super Bowl. That's the yeah. ultimate measure of your greatness because Lamar is – I mean, look, with a Super Bowl, now you, you got a chance to be talked about as a top-10 quarterback. Mm-hmm. Top five, top yeah. five. Are you, you talking about top ten yes. all time? Or you mean yeah? Well, I think okay, I think okay, he's top bad. five right, right top now. 10. Okay, it's hard to say he's not a yeah yeah. <coughs> it's hard to say he's not a top five quarterback right currently. But I'm saying right, right, when it's right. all said and done, when his career is up, he has an opportunity. Yeah, oh well, yeah, but all two time, MVPs, yeah. uh, possible more. But he's got to get get mm-hmm. that get that Super Bowl. See, the thing what Brady did it in reverse. Brady got the Super Bowls right. three. Two Super Bowl right. MVPs, then he got the MVP. Now, well, he top right. five with two Super Bowl MVPs, a regular yeah. season MVP, and three Super Bowls. Yeah. Now, yeah, he got he ended up getting two more Super Bowls. I mean, two more MVPs, mm-hmm. four more Super Bowls. Hmm. I mean, yeah, this 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 you get circumstance and situation plays a huge part in that yeah. as well. So I I, I like what what they're doing for Lamar and, and, and getting him the pieces around him to continue to always contend year in and year yeah. out. And he, he will get there. Obviously Brady, you know how that situation went once, once Mo Lewis knocked goddamn Drew yeah. Besso out and you look at the team that he was surrounded with and, and what they had, obviously Mahomes being who he is and having Andy Reed and just Mahomes being goddamn Superman. He is a, I almost cursed. My bad. He a goddamn superhero out there. Yeah, man. I mean, but I mean, what? Don't you remember we said when you got that guy, you got a chance in every game. Yeah. Remember, every Josh Allen and Buffalo was supposed to send Mahomes packing. Lamar Jackson and the Ravens was supposed to send Lamar uh, 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 Pat Mahomes packing. When you got that guy, how many times have they sold Brady yeah. short, only to have mm-hmm. Tom Brady be Tom Brady? That's Patrick Mahomes. And when you got him, you step on the field, you believe you got a chance. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, it's hard for me to believe that the Chiefs didn't expect to win that game when you got that guy. Because we got that guy as great as Lamar season had. They're like, he ain't Pat. Right. Yeah. I mean, you 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 would think that. But again, I'm thinking numbers, I'm thinking defense. And I'm not one that would want to bet bet with Mahomes. Bet against Mahomes, you know, because yeah. bet against Mahomes. But again, I wasn't thinking with my mind. I was thinking yeah. with my heart. I was just you know? ba- oh, Ocho, based on everything that I had saw this season. I had no reason to pick right. them against Lamar, considering how right, le- right, 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 well right. Lamar had played over the last three months. Mm-hmm. They didn't get right. off to the best start. Remember, they started the season three and two, and that's what I've said. Well, mm-hmm. Lamar's not playing well. Oh, Lord. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, when Lamar starts playing well, I got new information. So I have to be, you know, update what I'm saying. 
Right. But based on what I I had I saw the entire season from the Chiefs, from Mahomes, outside of Chiefs fans, I don't know who who saw this coming. Because they had never had to play a road playoff game before the Super Bowl. So we right. hadn't seen them outside of the on friendly the confines of Arrowhead. Arrowhead, yeah. They go on the road in Buffalo and beat Josh Allen, the guy that had 45, 46, 47 total touchdowns when you took out rushing and passing. You go and you beat this year's MVP in Lamar Jackson. Yeah. And you did it in their building. I didn't see it coming. I didn't. Yeah. And I and I gotta so be honest. What happened? What happens when they go to Las Vegas? You think they beat you beat the they beat the forty nine? You betting against them with that guy? Well, it's hard. It's hard. It's shit. Listen, I I, I did it today. I ain't I ain't doing it because again. here's the thing: Jordan Love had him down ten, jo- uh, and yeah. Jared Goff had him down seventeen. You don't think my homeboy can get him down mm-hmm. there? Mm. So who you taking, Jordan Love, Jerry Goff, or you take my homeboy? My homeboy. That's 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 well, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be. I can't even. I, it's gonna be a good one because you don't know what to expect. Even though you ne- you never want to bet on Mahomes, but bet against that, Mahomes. that forty nine. You get that. What, what happened if you bet against him? What if you what if you get that forty nine is offense that you got in the second half for four quarters against the goddamn Chiefs? What what what, what if you get that Chiefs offense happen. that you get the first the first two drives? Because here's the thing. And they kept this up, is what I believe. They kept that I believe Andy got conservative because he's saying, let's not make a mistake. Let's make them beat us, not let not right. aid us, aid them in beating us. So as long as we don't yes, what's right. the likelihood, given what we've seen today, it started raining. It looked like it was raining. What, did it look like it was raining to you? Yeah, it was it was drizzly. It was okay. drizzling a little bit. Now, without a pick six, a scoop and score, do you believe based on what we have seen? Saw from Lamar up until that point. Do you believe they could drive the field and score? Let's not aid them. Let's not yeah. offer any assistance. Anyway. Their car is broken down. Right. You, Let's not put no air in the tire. Mm-hmm. Let's not help them with the battery. Mm-hmm. Let's not bring them spark plugs. Mm-hmm. Let's not do anything right. that's going to get that jalopy today up and operational. Yeah, and w- once once we, once they weren't able to establish run a game, that's where the comfort. And Andy Reid doing that yeah. game from because if you can't run, you're not. Yeah. You're definitely not going to sit back and getting about it, get them out of that two shell. That's all. That's yeah. all that we're doing. Plan fifty five. Plan two man. You ain't going nowhere. Ain't uh, going nowhere. Red Hood said, "Just here to apologize." Lamar and the Ravens choked. I thought he was better than Josh, but they're a, but they both obsessed with hero ball. I don't know why these QBs don't check it down. Uh, it's be check it down beyond frustrating. Well, I, I think the thing is, look, I thought that I thought Buffalo ran the ball extremely well last week. I thought they ran the ball extremely well. The Ravens didn't run the ball today well enough to let them get into a rhythm. Their rhythm offense, which most offenses are, but they're led by the running game. Stop this notion. Right. You don't you don't you don't they led the league in rushing again. How many lead, how many times have they led the league in rushing or top three in rushing when Lamar Jackson right. has been their starting quarterback and healthy? Damn near every year. They rush one year for over 3,100. They said the NFL record for the most rush yards in a season, over 3,000. They're a running team first, Ocho. Mm-hmm. They're running team first with the ability to pass efficiently. But once now. they established the run, because we saw they yeah. couldn't establish the run today, and it was helter-skelter, it was herky-jerky. He was 20 of 37 mm-hmm. uh, for 272. Yeah. And that's okay. That's okay to say. I'm sure he'll go back, look at the film, see what he did wrong, plays that he could have made. He'll learn. I don't care if likely throws his hands up. Lamar, you can see what he can. Yeah. That he's triple covered. Yeah. I mean, I seen Calvin. Never mind. I almost threw that out there. Likely is not Calvin. It's not Megatron. 
<laughs> so if you were thinking about that, I you you he's not. Hey. I don't know uh, people people say Lamar choke. How you have the number one run team by a mile, and Gus gets three carries, he'll get three. Todd Monk and Harbaugh carry most of the blame. I think what happened is that they saw the, the they fell behind. Um, I don't think they thought that. Kansas City would move the ball with the ease in which they did the first two drives. Once yep. Baltimore kind of settled in defensively, got their bearings, saw what they were doing, a lot of motion, um, get the ball out of his hands quick. That's why Mahomes had right. 39 attempts, only 240 yards, 241 yards. Because I'm not going to ask my tackles to hold up very long. I'm going to get the ball out, a lot of bubble screens. Hey, Trav, hey, you block, I'm coming to you right now. I got to get the ball out of my quick. I'm not going to ask my offensive lineman to hold up very long. And I'm not going to let him hit me in the back. I'm not going to let him strip sack me. I'm not going to make any mistakes. I'm going to make them – if they win today, Lamar's going to have to play a flawless game. And if he can't play a flawless game, they can't beat us. Because we're not going to give him any short fields. We're not going to give him a scoop and score. We're not going to give him anything in the return game. And let's see if he can play mistake-free football in the moment. AFC Championship game with a chance to go to the Super Bowl, knowing that means more to him than everything. He'll start to press. I believe we can make him press, guys. I'm telling you how a defense mm-hmm. coordinator. I've been in. I've been in team room, and I'm telling you what a defensive coordinator is saying, and I'm telling you what an offensive coordinator when they got a great defense. I'm telling you what Mike would tell us, and I've heard Marvin Lewis talk to the de- defense, and how he explained to him they're going to start to press. <laughs> Just saying. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I want I wanted it. I wanted I wanted it for him though bad, bro. It's Sometimes you want something so bad, Ocho, you could taste it as yeah. Uh uh. Can y'all talk about Lamar not being patient and taking short passes? I saw too many of those turn down to throw into negative plays. Did you see that? I saw a couple of them. Hey, hey. But it's hard, but it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> you have to understand yeah. Lamar so has yeah. had success. I mean, early on, he did take that. He dumped the ball down the hill a couple mm-hmm. of times, uh, uh, and they mm-hmm. got some got some uh, uh, solid yards. Hold on, Justin Hill had four targets. He had, you know, he had seven targets, four receptions, thirty-four yards, eleven, uh, a, a long of eleven. I thought they got o- uh, o- Odell involved too late. I mean, he made a, a, a bad ball. He ended up catching himself and taking it off for thirteen yards. But he made a heck of a play because yeah. it looked like Reed might yeah, intercept it because he had his hands up on it like he the one that batted up mm-hmm. in the air. He he, he was going to get to it first. Look, he didn't even see Lamar no. going. He didn't even see Lamar. Lamar was getting yep. to it before him. Yep. Uh, Damn. Go ahead. What, you want to respond? Go ahead. What do you want to say, Ocha? I'm, I'm, my memory is jogging about the goddamn game. Damn, I'm 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 pissed. Yeah, I'm pissed. They made, I meant John I mean, Harbaugh. Listen, if I right, said Jim right, Harbaugh, right, I meant right John Harbaugh. Jim got the coaching job for the uh for the uh the Chargers. Christopher Motley Chargers. said, "Uh, you think adding Andrews to the game plan early messed up the Ravens' flow?" I mean, the way likely has been playing. I'm not you. You never. Why would you take out the hot hand? When you got, why would you take I out the hot hand? I the thing hand? to help Lamar I mean, this just, year is when me. Mark Andrews went down, and there's no disrespect, but I thought it forced him out of his comfort zone because he didn't have somebody he had to spread the ball around, and he d- discovered Zay Flowers. He discovered likely. Hey, that's John Harbaugh. He coaches his team. He knows the, the pulse of his team, and you just have to trust his decision. Uh, Mikhail R. said, everyone said the Ravens, but simply put, Lamar Jackson was not ready for championship-level team. Now the Ravens shut off Mahomes in the second half, but the Chiefs shut out Lamar and the Ravens played sl- shut out Lamar and Ravens played sloppy. Yeah, they just needed they needed that they needed that one drive Ocho where mm-hmm. they looked like the Ravens. This offense looked like Lamar and what we had seen over the last three months of the season. That's what they they did one of those drives Ocho, and they couldn't they couldn't get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And no, I thought they got it when they, you, Ocho, you remember when they got down, I think the, the uh, uh, Kansas City scored. I think the Chargers went down and scored. And then the uh, the Ravens, uh, th- I think the uh, uh, Chiefs scored again, made it 14-7. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They could never get a, they could never really get a rhythm after that. Rhythm, yeah. 
Listen, goddamn, they was dialing up them damn blitzes, man. They was coming from every which way. Every which Bro. way. Like, well, God, Ocho, man, well, we got to stop. Gotta, Ocho, we got to. Can we stop this every time a team loses? Oh, the officials blew the uh -huh. game. They could have easily called. The officials. Hey, hey, <laughs> they, they, love, they, they blame the they blame the ref they blame the rest a lot man Ravens got wrong but got to give that. it to Mahomes coming out putting work in Lamar kept freezing up bro they could have called Devin Duvernay for tripping on Chris Jones in the end zone he tripped him when Lamar got outside the pocket and threw that pass mm -hmm. they could have called tripping uh -huh, yeah that was in the end zone that'd have been yeah. a safety mm -hmm. oh Justin Watson on the first the first drive on mm -hmm. that third uh, on the third down they tackled him. Before the ball got there, y'all make it seem like, like the Ravens didn't get any call. They called a holding on on, on Trey Smith. They got back to back calling on Trey Smith, mm -hmm. and one of them took yeah. a touchdown off the board. Remember, Rasheed Rice got the ball in the end zone. Guys, it happens, mm -hmm. guys. Come on now, just yeah. the and Ravens the, didn't the refs, play well. Yeah, but the refs got it bad. The refs got it real bad because you know what's funny, Unc? If they really wanted to be Diabolical, you can call you can throw every a flag play. on every play. You could throw a flag on every play the entirety of the game if you want to, if you just want to be diabolical and just crazy yes. about it. If you wanted to. Now, now if it's a little extreme, <coughs> if it's if it if it changes a play or is it's blatant, yeah. you have no choice but right. to throw the flag. You have to. Yeah. But every play there's hole in, there's something of some sort that is worth the guy. Well, and the guy was like, well, oh, and I saw the thing. Well, he was trying to get the ball out of Mahomes' hand when he hit Mahomes in the face. Bro, it doesn't matter. I mean, if you yeah, hit yeah, the quarter, yeah, if did. you hit the quarterback late, he was just trying to sack the quarterback. I know, but he hit him late. Jadavian Clowney hit Patrick Mahomes right up under the chin. Ocho, they're gonna call that mm -hmm. every time. Every time. It's, oh, especially on Mahomes. Boy, Thank man. you. You know, on, on him. They definitely yes. call it that. You know certain that. guys, for the most part, you knew you did that to Brady, you did that to Manning, you did that to them top-level quarterback. They're not fit the to let you hit them like that, 15, bro. 15 yards. Yes. Penalty. Every time. Uh, uh, Let's talk about the Mahomes winning the Super Bowl this year. It'll be his third and sixth season. Playing puts him in a trajectory that get close to Brady. You can do me a favor and say, my homeboy, loud. So Ocho can hear that he's the best quarterback in the NFL. <laughs> now, look, first of all, I don't think Ocho is going to argue. He knows Mahomes is the best. That, that's not even up for debate. Uh, man, three Super Bowls in six years of starting? I mean, hell, if, I mean, what are we going to say that we're not already saying yeah. right now? Okay, he got another one. What's well, shit? Okay, what's next? What, what do you what do you say at that point for somebody that's done what he's done in such a short amount of time? What else can you say? I think what, at that else? point in time, it's kind of like at this early, I remember I really thought that Brady could get to five, maybe six. Because he run, he won. I mean, he came in the league in 2000. So by the time he rolled around to 2005, he had already had three. Mm. He's six years in the league. He got three Super Bowls. So let's just say he played That's 15 crazy. years based on what he had done the first three. Could he not mm. win five? Could he not win six? So at this pace, if you just pace it out, Mahomes, and look, look, things happen, guys are going to, you know, hey, but who's to say that he can't get to another two Super Bowls and win them, or another three and win mm -hmm. two if he wins this one? Listen, you, and you talk about no, another two, as easy as the Chiefs make it look, as easy as Mahomes and Andy Reid make it look, with you having a draft, which having free agency every year, and and the pieces to that puzzle are always constantly changing, the same way it did with the goddamn dynasty over there with with yes. Kraft and Belichick and Tom. The same thing could happen. The question over here. is, what are they going to do with what are they going to do with CJ? He's clearly their best defensive player, Chris Jones. He's a free agent. Oh, and La Sneed. Ladarius Sneed. Listen, if they find a way, I don't know how you can manipulate the salary cap. I don't know what you need to do. Move some money around. Take some of Mahomes' money <coughs> and upload it front a front loader in a, a goddamn signing bonus. If you can keep Ladarius Sneed and Chris Jones, oh, they're going to be back again. They definitely they can be back again. Maybe one, maybe yeah. two Super Bowls. If you keep, man, shh. Man, the boy's good. And the thing is, the Darius need a uh, Darius need a Chris Jones allows you to do what you do defensively. I think the thing is, but the Chiefs are going to have to start looking for a tight end um, for Kelsey. Well, where are you going? He's thirty four. 
34. You don't wait till somebody, you don't wait till your car break down to get another one, Ocho. Remember when we had the conversation? You wait till the car push you down side the road? Yeah, yeah. I, I like. Start looking. So what would you, would you? I'm not saying you draft okay, one in the see. first round, but just imagine if you could have got a Laporta. Mm. Now when, when, now when Kelsey slides out another two years, now he, you can run two. They run a heavy two tight end set anyway. They keep Noah Gray. They keep Bell. They, yes. Yes. I don't think I don't think anyone else would be as savvy and understanding zone and man and Laporte the way can play. And just just that tight end. Yeah. And he oh, played yeah, with that big old dungeon oh, yeah, and nice. that big knee nice. though. He can play Ocho. That big he knee can play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He oh, he's he nice. He's he nice. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, he's nice. Just he's a nice. kid from St. Louis says, Hi, Uncle Ocho. Me, me and my wife love your show. Could we get a birthday shout out? Hers was the 13th and mine. Is January is the 30th of January. We're planning to be in Vegas for the Super Bowl. Hope we see you guys there. Happy birthday, both of you guys. Shout out just the kid from St. Louis. Happy birthday Happy for birthday. your wife on the 13th. Yours is coming up on the 30th. Enjoy. Hope to see you guys come uh, come check us out. Happy birthday. Juan Cardoza me. said, oh, oh I, I got to take the cheeses. They lose, I'll donate. Uh, but if they win, you got to do nightcap live with a cowboy jersey. Oh no, I ain't doing. I ain't doing oh, a, no. a, a lie to the, with a cowboy jersey until they get to the Super Bowl. Guess that'll never happen. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't having no time, Sue. You, 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 you never know. It could be the cow. It could be the Cowboys and the Bengals next year. You've been you saying they've been saying the Cowboys year since '95. I, I told you what the Cowboys need to do. Obviously, what they, they, ain't gonna they do never that. would like to listen Money to Money Mitch eight. Huh? Oh, can you ask Miss Nova Taylor to be my Valentine, Mr. Mitchell? Uh, Nova. Mr. Mitchell wants to know, can you be his Valentine? And she, be, and she better say yeah. Roderick Moore says, I was off that drink this weekend and my girl wasn't happy with my mouth. Can y'all tell her I'm sorry? Name is Brittany. What you saying? Oh, he was on that. He was on that. Yeah, he was on no, that. No, he yeah, said girl. he was off he was, the drink. So he should have been good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, off it. Nah, he off it mean he was on it. Like I was off that oh, drink. Okay. Well. Come on, you got to understand the lingo now. Yeah, you say he was, I thought he hell he wasn't drinking. No, he was drinking and that's why he oh, said he, he got to apologize. Yeah. Mm, okay. Sure. All right, Brittany, he said he's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua Blanco, hey Uncle Ocho, I have a CDL exam uh, in a few weeks, and I'm very nervous. How do you guys get over the nerves for the big game, bro? A hey, big game and CDL, well, that's two that's two completely different animals. Nah, right the CDL, there, you know, I got my CDL. Ah, yeah, I got my CDL you too. Got CDL. I do got my CDL right here. You know, I got a big rig. Remember, I had no. a big rig. I what? got a. Uh, Bro, you don't went through. You don't went through. What well, that's your driving license? Hey, bro, you don't went through. Bro, you don't went through the. You don't went through the hard part. You've been doing this. You know what you got. Hey, just go do it. Pressure and nerves. Yeah. Okay. I mean, look, to have nerves is 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 is, is natural. Anybody says before yeah. they do something of of grave importance, they're not nervous. They're not being mm -hmm. totally genuine with mm -hmm. you. But yeah, when when you've Gone through the class for what? I mean, what is it? Eight weeks? You've driven. You did done all the things necessary. You take. You know. You know how to do this, and you know to do that, and the offload. Bro, you ready? Bro, don't talk yeah. to yourself. That don't make yourself. Don't 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 get in your own head. Stay out your own way. You'll do fine, Joshua. I'm mm -hmm. Perkins the second. Said Uncle Nocho, love the show. It's my anniversary. We appreciate it if you gave my wife, Kalea. Kalea. Kalia, a shout out. Keep grinding. Kalia. <coughs> out in Perkins, you Happy and Kalia. Anniversary. Happy anniversary. Enjoy. Hope y'all did something special. Pop that, Hope. pop that diamond tonight, right? Kiala? Oh, Kiala. Kiala. Out want to wish you a, a happy anniversary and say he got something special for you. Yeah. Caesar. Ocasio? Ocasio? Ocasio. Caesar. Oh, uh, I know that's AOC, Acasio. Caesar Acasio. Uncle Ocho, love the show. Can you guys give my son Donovan a shout out for his 18th birthday? 
Donovan, happy birthday from your dad. Uh, he's really proud of you. Keep up the great work. And uh, congratulations on reaching 18. That's a big milestone. Many, many more days to come. Yeah. Jay Guy said, hey, Uncle Ocho, love the show. You guys are the best entertainment on any platform. Can I give you, can you give my wife, damn, Leandra, Leandra Guy, a shout out. She just gave birth to our face, first baby, Lou Aquila, on Friday. Congratulations. Congratulations, Congra hey, wifey. Uh, and that's your first. Hopefully, every, that's your first baby. They need to get back in there. Get first. back in there. Uh, hopefully, wife and baby are doing well. They're healthy. Uh, hopefully they're home and uh, you are enjoying that new that new baby girl. So uh, congratulations. Congratulations. And, uh, Let's have two is better than one, though. Two is better than one. Make sure you get back in there. Give it two weeks to heal up. Let's get back to work. Uh, Uncle JJ, whenever someone says Ocho, they say you be volatile. You got more head than you got body. You know, you got to sing. You'll never find bum bum. Bum bum. Finish that up. <laughs> Man, we can't sing. They be they they turn off our monetization. Yeah, we we not, we we're not allowed to sing at all. Oh, you didn't put the uh the stuff I sent you today. We'll do it tomorrow. Yeah, guys, we weren't able to get to the super chat, so we're gonna try to get to it tomorrow. We already got. I got to go to work tomorrow. Uh, look, since it's gonna be a red Super Bowl, I figured I'd come on out there. I can't yeah. bet you can't guess 2007 AC Milan. Hey, them them them, them Jordans match my uh. Give me five hundred. Them Jordans match my um. Give me my jersey. I let you get them. My kit. Give huh? me five hundred. I let you get them. Uh, guys, do me a favor. Yeah, you know no make sure y'all make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Make sure you have like the chat. Uh, what we do? Where we? Oh, we got nine twenty nine guys. Congrats! Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> I love y'all. We gained eight thousand subs, you. Ocho, since we've been on. That's great. That's great. We go, hey, Ocho, we gonna be close, Ocho, to our magic number. We don't. We, no, no, we, we, we gonna get, get there. there. We gonna get there. I'm, listen, I haven't got. I I, I didn't want to be rude. I didn't want to ask. There, there's a friend of mine, someone that I know that is huge in this certain right. space, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it too early. So when we get close to the Super Bowl, I'm going to ask for that okay. push. I'm gonna ask for that push. Hey, bro, I need you to do me a solid. We trying to hit a million. Ask your, ask your subscribers. Boom, the, the, just tell them yeah. to hit the button and subscribe so we can get us over a million. And I guarantee you. So I'm just I'm just okay. waiting. I'm say that thing for a rainy day. Okay, ourselves. okay, Joe. Yeah, yeah. So I'm please make sure you thank you for joining us tonight for another edition of Nightcap. Please make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And please make sure y'all subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You could you can get it through Club Shay Shay, but we big time. We got a nightcap podcast feed. We've also pinned Shea by Laportier at the top of the chat. The Super Bowl is gonna happen. So you're gonna have a party. Go on and get you a couple of bottles of that Shea by Laportier. Mm -hmm. And then it's Valentine's Day and then St. Patrick's Day. And you can just know what? I'm sure somebody has a birthday. You can get a bottle for you or a couple of bottles for you or that someone special in your life. So thank you. Thank you guys for yeah. joining us tonight. Let's wrap it up. The 49ers. Come back from 17 point a halftime de deficit, score 27 unanswered points to take down the Lions and advance to the Super Bowl 34 31. Uh, and the Chiefs go on the road and take down the Ravens. Patrick Mahomes goes to his fifth Super Bowl in five seasons, his, uh, his fourth and sixth season as a starter, and the Chiefs are going to their fourth Super Bowl. Mahomes, 30 of 39, 241 in the touchdown. Travis Kelsey passes Jerry Rice for the most catches in playoff history. Catches all 11 of his targets, 11 catches, a buck 16, and a touchdown. And he went over 100 yards receiving. He has eight of those now in the playoffs. And they'll be going to this Super Bowl as a rematch between the Chiefs and the 49ers. So congratulations to both teams, Chiefs and the 49ers. Uh, let the joshing, joshing begin. Um, thank you for joining us. Ocho and I are back tomorrow. Um, what time are we back tomorrow? We're back tomorrow are we back at tomorrow? 7 p.m., guys. We're 7 p.m. Pacific. 7 p.m. Pacific. 
Thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports up, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, Chad, rock running extraordinaire, Ocho, Bengals legend, legend, Cinco, woo, ring of famer, Johnson. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.